So, starting today, he's an official member of the team. Welcome aboard. I'm Yuko Nishiwaki. She's our team manager. She'll answer any of your questions. You're a second year, right? Since we're in the same grade, you can just call me Yuko. Let's see. Hey, Miyamoto. Yes. This here's our future team captain. A great runner and places well in competitions. You two are in the same class, right? Miyamoto, keep an eye on the new guy here, okay? You got it. You're the guy who went out with Takeba on the first day of school, right? You're practically a celebrity. I'm Kazushi Miyamoto. You've seen me around, right? Then, long story short, from now on, you're mine after school. You better not think you're getting the easy treatment just because you joined mid-season. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Since this is your first practice, just have a look around and then call it a day. We have practice on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. There's no practice the days before tests, though. I'll make sure your uniform is ready for next time. today. See ya. Sorry. I didn't mean to get so worked up. Let's get go. Ah! I think I might have twisted my knee. Forget it. Let's go. Oh, it's you. What's up? Hmm. Okay, sure. Why don't we stop somewhere along the way? being a team manager. You really don't get any respect, and the guys on the team all act like little kids. Where's my towel? Can you wash this for me? Ugh, I'm not their mother, you know. At least I don't have to worry about gaining weight since I'm always running around taking care of them. How about you? Are you enjoying track and field? Oh yeah? That's good to hear. Thought it might be boring for you, since you're so much better than everyone else. I can tell just by looking. It's like you've got your own style, and you don't waste much energy. Well, if you have any questions, just ask Kaz. Um, you know, Kazushi. You guys are in the same class, so I'm sure he'd be willing to help you. You can ask me too if you want, since I'm the manager.
Oh, I've got to run. There's a show I want to catch. See you at school. Oh! Done. Good thing you came with me. I didn't realize there was so much to buy. Also, I wasn't really in the mental state to do this alone today. Oh, nothing major. Maybe I was exaggerating a bit. Hmm. It's still bothering me, though. In today's classic literature pop quiz, I didn't know any of the answers. And before I knew it, I dozed off. I ended up handing in a blank paper. Purpose. But then Mr. Okoda got all pissed off. He called me to the faculty office and told me I had to write a reflection essay. I had to listen to Mr. Okoda lecture me for the longest time. He was all like, uh, this rate you'll end up as a good for nothing adult, and you're not putting enough thought into your future. Come on, it's way too early to worry about the future, isn't it? We're still just teenagers. Should be allowed to enjoy ourselves now while we still can. Honestly, I haven't really thought about my future at all. I'm working hard for the track team, so I think that's good enough for now. As for the future, well, <laughs> I've got plenty of time to think about it later. I guess this isn't the best place for a long conversation, huh? I'm gonna go drop these off at the storage room. See ya! Ouch! Ow! Hey! It's dangerous to be running around here! Wait, aren't you... Oh, Andy Yuko! How many times do I have to tell you? You can call me Big Sis, nothing else! Oh no, they're gonna catch me! See ya, Andy! Hey, wait! And he's gone. That kid lives across the street from me. Why on earth are they playing tag in a place like this? I mean, it's dangerous, right? They should go play in the schoolyard or something. Oh no, the school gate is gonna close soon. Uh, I'll see you at practice! One time, I left some tissues in the pocket of my running pants, and then I washed it without realizing. Oh, boy, did that make a mess. Oh, can you hang on a sec while I put my shoes on? Not again. It's the same stupid prank every time. Talk about unoriginal. Whew, at least my shoes are safe. Going that far would have been crossing the line. After the first few times, I stopped counting. I was pissed off at first, but eventually I just got used to it. Getting worked up about this would just tire me out. It's not worth it. But if I catch her in the act, I am fully prepared to grab her and teach her a lesson. Uh, that was a joke, okay? I'm a nice girl, really. Come on, let's go. So I figured this might be a good time to update our team uniform. What do you think of switching to running tights? They say it reduces wind resistance. Hey, look over there. It's Nishiwaki-san. Is that your new boyfriend? On to the next one already, I see. <sighs> Impressive, Nishiwaki-san. 
We're not dating. He's just a friend from the team. Come on. No need to act all polite in front of him. Just tell it how it is. I'm surprised you could even get such a handsome guy. Maybe I should become a team manager too. You've got it all wrong, as usual. <laughs> Don't do it. You'll just be running around after everyone all day. And it's not very attractive for a girl to be so muscular, you know? <laughs> not so loud. Her boyfriend's like right here. <sighs> I kind of feel bad for her. That's really what you want to do. I won't stop you. But you're better off looking for a boyfriend elsewhere. A manager is a busy job. You won't have time to go around sticking gum on people's shoe lockers. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, I haven't got a clue what that means. Of course not. It was just a random example. What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? Not at all. Hey, uh, let's just go already. Sorry you got dragged into that. No, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Sorry. Oh, I should probably fill you in. Or you get the wrong idea about me. Let's go sit down. That girl in the black tights, we went to the same middle school. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But, turns out, he was seeing her at the same time. When she found out, she said I stole her boyfriend, even though I was a victim, too. She blamed me because I was the manager of the basketball team. Isn't that just ridiculous? And after I became the track team manager here in high school, that set her off on me again. But really, all I want to do is support others so they can be the best they can be. Remember the gum on my locker? That was probably her doing. She's definitely the type to hold a grudge. Oh, those girls have way too much time on their hands. All they do is complain and gossip. Why don't they do something more productive? They're the ones who should get a lecture from Akoda. You're not putting enough thought into your future. Tell that to them, not me. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry for what they said about you. They called you my boyfriend. This made you feel awkward, huh? Say that with a straight face. And how many other girls have you used that line on, huh? When it comes to relationships, you should never play with a woman's emotions. Oh, right. Make sure you don't tell Kaz or anyone else about the two-timing thing, okay? You're the only one I've told. Oh, also, I broke up with that two-timing jerk a long time ago. Just so you know, uh, you might be thinking, so what, right? Yeah, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> on. It's late. We should be getting home. I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your run time. You're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! You again! You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me, but what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. But we can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. 
They said they'll move if we can beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. I'll let the auntie slide this time. It's only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big. Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenchon, you're so fast! Hey, Big Sis! You should be our coach! Oh, I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Really think I should? Come on, please. Please. Hmm. Well, it isn't a decision to make lightly. coach, but I'm not gonna go easy on you guys, and no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo! Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Never you mind about that. Now everyone, line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Think positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That sounds hard, but okay. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd... Really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy too. Thanks. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. Hey! <laughs> Straighten your back! And don't forget to swing your arms! Guess what, guess what? I beat Yuki-chan! I swung my arms really hard, just like you said! Wow, seriously? That's amazing! Okay, next time, I want you to try running with your toes raised. You'll go even faster that way. Got it, coach! Phew. I did a lot of research on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually working. I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job, right? I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. <laughs> I gotta say though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? Oh, I don't know about that. 
but hearing you say so does make me feel like I can do anything. Oh, these kids really give it their all. Oh? One more round. Hey, hold on a second. You're all supposed to be on break right now. It's important to take time to get good rest. It's your age need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. Yeah, but there's no time for that. We can keep going. Come on, we gotta show our fighting spirit. Mm, I suppose we do only have so many days to train here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. Oh, you know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. All right, listen up. I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Monty, coach, you're on fire. What did you just call me? All right, those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. Oh, sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming of age story. <laughs> so, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. Oh, by the way, the kids seem like they want to run with you. You think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. Hey, stop! Thank you! We only have so much time to train here, so you have to practice on your own if you want to win. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And don't forget, know your limits and make sure you stretch properly. Oh, why don't you give them some advice, too? Yeah! Good! Spirit, you can do it. I know you can. Now listen, no matter what, think positive and don't give in to fear. Those kids are going to challenge the sixth graders soon. Apparently, the winners will get to use the schoolyard. Earlier, they asked me to write the challenge letter for them. A little worried, actually. Well, not just about the race, but also about whether or not I spelled something wrong. So, what's your honest opinion? Age difference really matters when you're as young as they are. Do you really think they can beat the sixth graders? A coach has to believe in her team. And they've all trained so hard, too. He'll be fine, right? After all, they learned from us. Oh, then why am I feeling so nervous? It's gonna be okay. I'm sure they can win. think of it, I should have asked you to write the challenge letter. I probably should have used bigger words. Ugh, I'll be so embarrassed if those sixth graders laugh at it. Hey, stop! Uh-huh. <sighs> Coach and the boyfriend! one-on-one -on -one and two of us actually won! That 
means we tied the sixth graders. Can you believe it? They said they're gonna let us use the schoolyard now. And they want to be friends with us. They think we're pretty fast for fourth graders. They told us we should play together sometime. Oh, you guys! I never had a doubt. I know how hard you all worked. Wow, thanks. Um, Big Sis? <laughs> you don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Auntie Yuko is fine. One, two, three. Good luck with your boyfriend! Ah, <sighs> and I called you my boyfriend till the very end. Oh, okay, wait, huh? Hey, <laughs> don't laugh! Joking like that is bad for my heart. Oh, you really got me saying something like that out of nowhere. <sighs> you know what this feels like? The end of some cheesy high school drama series. Hmm. Like the kids have left the nest. Now that it's suddenly so quiet, yeah, a little. <laughs> Although it was pretty tough at the beginning. Teaching those kids how to race. It was pretty fun. They looked so happy every time they got faster. And it made me happy too. That feeling of wanting to help them just kept growing bigger and bigger. You know, this might have been the first time I really put my heart into something. And it's not that I've been slacking off as a team manager, but maybe helping and teaching people is more of my thing. It kind of made me think about the things I should do for my future, I mean. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank you. Maybe we should throw a little party, you know, to celebrate our first attempt at coaching. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. Hmm, now where should we have the party at? I kind of want it to be somewhat fancy. I'll look around for a place. much confidence at the beginning. So you being here with me was really... Well, let's talk about that next time. We'll have plenty of time at the party. Shall we head home? Hey, uh... All right. that the party ended up being at my place. I was out buying stuff that might be useful for running practice, and I ran out of money. Oh, really? Good thing I took the time to tidy up. Feel free to eat as many snacks as you want, okay? It was a lot of hard work, but I'm glad we decided to coach those kids in the end. What do you think? Um, sorry. It's just, I never noticed how long your eyelashes are. I don't think I've looked at you this closely before. It's only the two of us here now. Maybe that's why I'm a little nervous. Uh, how about we change the subject? I'll ask you a question. Hmm. Oh, do you like children? Really? Me too. I like how they're so pure and always try their best. It just makes me want to support them as much as I can. I realized recently how much I like to look after other people. Let's see. Uh, okay, next question. Let's say you get married and have a kid. Would you want it to be a boy or a girl? <laughs> me too. Oh, we must be on the same wavelength. I would dress her up in all kinds of different outfits. Oh, she could be my little helper. Either way, I would just hope that the baby didn't take after me. You could say I'm a little rough around the edges. But if they took after you, I'm sure they'd be super cute. They'd probably be athletic too. 
Wonder if they'll take an interest in sports. Do you look more like your dad or your mom? I've been told that I'm the spitting image of my dad. Not that I mind, but I do have mixed feelings about it. I mean, we don't look that much alike, right? My eyebrows aren't as bushy for one. Um. Oh! So then I went to ask about it after class, and you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, it's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and I got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? I did consider that one too, but I decided I should focus on one thing specifically. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's gonna be over 350 hours. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day, and I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. If you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end, and I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. Oh. Why, why are you so nice to me? Are you like this just with me? No, no, that, that can't be it, huh? 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 What? <laughs> you mean me? Uh, uh, uh are, are you sure? I'm not girly or anything like that, you know? What's happening? <laughs> Is this a dream? Uh, um... Me, me too. I feel the same way as you do. That's why 
I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have to go. I've got to study. <sighs> um, I'm looking forward to us. During lunch break today, that girl was trying to bother me again. You remember, right? She's the one who put gum on my shoe locker. Well, this time, I told her what I thought right to her face, that she should find what she really wants to do in life. She probably didn't get what I was saying, but ever since I figured it out for myself, I feel like I've been able to see the bigger picture. I mean, I kinda used to be the same as her, you know? I guess I've learned how to empathize better now. Not to mention, you did end up becoming my boyfriend, so. Not why I invited you here. I guess I could have told you this next part at school, but I wanted to talk some more quiet. D don't be so impatient. I'm getting to that. Oh, why am I the one panicking now? So you know the kids we coached? They each left a message for us. I know they were kind of a handful, but they also have an endearing side to them, don't you think? Oh, you're so sweet. Sometimes I can't believe how open-minded you are. I think I need to learn from you. Here, this one's for you. The kids told me to give it to my boyfriend. <laughs> Aren't they cute? That's what I invited you here for. Uh, well, actually, that was just an excuse. Because today, well, my parents aren't home, so. Yeah, so, um, I, I just mean you can stretch out and relax. <laughs> we won't get yelled at for being too noisy. <laughs> it's just, I was able to find my true calling thanks to you. I'm so glad I met you. Those are my true feelings, and I hope you feel the same. So, will you stay with me a while longer? I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost path of the strength arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the strength within thyself. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I wanna sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. Then after lights out, we girls get together and gush about who we like. And this year, I've got a lot to say. Oh, oh by the way, have you checked out this vending machine? You don't really see these drinks back home. Maybe I should buy some as a souvenir. Oh, you're wearing the yukata. Oh, it looks good on you. You look kind of different than usual. Good different. <laughs> you know, my group actually passed yours earlier today. I guess you didn't notice me though. I thought about calling out to you, but I just couldn't. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's just, when you're with your friends from the dorm, you're like a different person. You wear certain expressions around them that I never get to see when you're with me. Not that it really matters or anything. 
Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to be all weird about this. So basically, I, I was feeling lonely, and all I wanted was for you to notice me. Whew, glad I got that off my chest. I just wanted to walk around Kyoto with you. Oh, hey! This trip went by in a blur. I can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. Since we were in different groups, it was also kind of a bummer. You do? So we both felt the same way. <sighs> you know, when I visited the temples earlier today, I kept thinking about you. Like, what it'd be like if you were there. Or if you'd like this keychain I got for you. I even saw a Buddhist statue that reminded me a little of you. <laughs> but now that I've gotten a good look at you, I don't really see the resemblance. You know what? I think I like it best when I'm with you. <laughs> Let's go on a date once we get home, okay? Oh, are you the new student? Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, ten years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, uh... I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on. I'll show you the way. Welcome back. No. Oh. Get a load of this.
I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Hermit Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Hermit within thyself. everyone. This is who I've been talking to you about. He'll be joining us in student council starting today. Ah, so he's the one. I'm here to Toshio Degiri. I supervise the disciplinary committee. I'm Chihiro Fushimi, the treasurer. I'm a first year and, um, I'm still learning the ropes, so please be patient with me. I would certainly hope so. You must be quite talented to be handpicked by the president herself. I look forward to working with you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Emperor Arcana. It's getting late. Introductions will be enough for today. What we want from you is to assist us as necessary. From now on, you have my permission to enter the student council room whenever you wish. Your time is your own after school, but try to remember the student council every now and then. We meet on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but we don't meet on days before tests. Thanks for coming today. Student council, though, so I should work on that. Oh, the school is almost out. Let's go. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. 
I was just thinking about uh, what to say. I was trying to come up with a topic you might be interested in, Senpai, but I couldn't think of anything. This is Iwatodai Dorm, right? Do you live here? My house is in the other direction. No, it's not your fault. I noticed we were going in the wrong direction. I should have spoken up. Um, I know you took time out of your schedule just for me, so... Thank you very much for today. shopping if you say so but um thank you i was so busy searching through the books i i'm sorry if i ignored you um i'm sorry it took so long this place has so many interesting books i was having a bit of trouble deciding um do you read much senpai Really? I, um, didn't think you'd be into that kind of thing. The classics aren't very entertaining, but I can respect what the authors are trying to accomplish. Oh, I'm sorry. This, um, probably isn't the best place to talk. The shop owners probably wouldn't want us standing here either. Um, hey, Senpai, is it boring for you to hang around with, um, someone like me? What a relief. I've been so worried about that this entire time. Oh, um, well, t today I was able to, um, say what was on my mind to you. I want to stop being so afraid of everything, and I want to be able to talk to other people. My homeroom teacher, Mr. Takanozuka, he gives me a lot of class-related tasks, but I'm always so scared that all I can do is not... Well, it's not much of a story, but my dad is a very scary person. I'm not living with him anymore, but I can still remember the face he made when he got mad. So, whenever I see a man now, all I can think of is that face. Oh, no. I'm really happy that you care. Thank you.
treasurer who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? I never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, uh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? Come on, you've got to take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. All right, fine. They're really gonna kiss? Do they not know where they are? That's right, I agree. This is supposed to be a place of learning, and they're still just kids. So I say this as a member of the student council. That kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school. We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized too. I didn't notice the time. Um, I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. Hello there. I haven't been feeling well lately. I couldn't even finish my lunch today. I think I may have caught a cold. I'm sorry, but do you think we could go to the pharmacy? I'm going to go get some medicine. I'll be right back. Oh, hey there! Are you on your way home from school? Huh? Well, what do you want? Wow, you're really cute. From this angle, I can see how gorgeous you are in those glasses. Say, you want to maybe sit down in a cafe and chat a little? Um, I... Hey, come on, don't be scared. I'm not gonna fight. No, please stop. Senpai. Who the hell are you? Wait, don't tell me that you're with her. <laughs> well, I thought I had a chance since she looked so plain. Oh, thank goodness. Thought you were going to hit him for a second. I wouldn't want you to get into a fight because of me. But just now, you are so... Um... <sighs> You've already saved me, so... I'm not scared anymore, but why am I still shaking? I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. Oh, 
but at least I'm not shaking anymore. Thank you. at this hour. This time of day is perfect. So, um, there was something I needed to ask you. <sighs> Thank you. So, there's this friend I have. Um, she's a girl. And, well, there's a boy who's been helping her a lot recently. Like giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. She even told me that lately, she can't stop thinking about him. So I, I was wondering, is she in love right now? Senpai. Oh. Now that I'm hearing you say it, I get the feeling you're right. Or at least, I hope you are. I mean, I'm sure that's how my, um, friend feels. Thank you. With your help, I think I know how I should proceed now. Uh, I mean, I know what to tell my friend now. a weird topic. Senpai, you always take my problems so seriously. You're too nice. Well, should we get going? Oh, that reminds me. I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but... I can almost look them in the eye. But with you, I... I think I can do even better. As long as it's nothing too scary, go ahead. Oh, your hand. So rugged, strong, warm. <sighs> It... it's almost like... we're a couple. I, I'm so sorry! I can't believe I said something so inappropriate! Uh, um... Uh, should we get going? new ones. Oh! All of the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each! That means I can afford them with my allowance. Mm, we can go now. I don't really see anything that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait! Is this...? It is! I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever! This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing! Each volume is 6,000 yen, so that means... 
18,000 yen total? Well, what should I do? Of course, all three volumes are great! The characters are portrayed so realistically. It's like they really exist. My monthly allowance is 5,000 yen, so it's not enough, even if I save my lunch money. But I'll get it, no matter what! I just need to wait until next month, or the month after, or I'll get them by the time I graduate. I, I need to hide this where no one will see it. Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. I really wish I had a bigger allowance, but I also don't want to make things hard for my mom. Hey, I saw that. You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you! I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness for friends. That is, until recently. Of course, I still think that's mostly true. But I do have my doubts. That man has no confidence in himself. That's why he's so desperate to stay on the woman's good side. I think I can relate to that feeling. He just wants to be with her, no matter the cost. Store and look at that illustration collection again. Excuse me. Yes. Senpai, hurry! I hope no one's bought that illustration collection. Oh, please still be there. Wait! Vachini! They said our class's materials fee hasn't been paid yet. Yeah, I was totally getting grilled in the faculty office just now. All right, the money. I, um, gave it to Mr. Takenozuka when he came to the office. You were the one responsible for that money, weren't you, Fushimi-san? That means you were the last one who saw it. Um, but I just told you. Well, the teacher told us we haven't paid yet. So doesn't that make this your fault? Um, uh, I... Senpai? Too. I clearly remember giving the money to the teacher. It has to be some kind of mistake. Look, just make sure you take care of it, all right? I'm sure it's exciting to have that much money, but you better do something before everyone finds out. Don't worry. We won't tell anyone. Wait! You think I... Uh... Th those guys... They must think I stole the money. I... I couldn't stand up to them, but I, I... I didn't take anything. Y yes you're right. We have to do something. I have to prove to everyone that it wasn't me. How do I do that? I'm certain I handed the money over. I'll just have to talk to Mr. Takanozuka about this. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? What should I do? I... I'm sorry. 
I know I can't just expect you to solve everything. This is my problem, so... I need to figure it out on my own. Bookworms. I think I have to pass today. Sorry. from the other day still hasn't turned up yet. No one said anything to me, but I know what they're all thinking. I can't take this anymore. I... I don't want to be here. I... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't say that. I'm supposed to be a member of the student council. I'm going to look for some books. Yeah, there's no way it could have been anyone else. It's gotta be her. It's that first year on the student council, Fushimi. The gloomy girl with the long hair and glasses. The one who's always reading. I hear she stole all the class's money. 2,500 yen per person. <laughs> Damn, I could buy a brand name purse with that much. Well, I heard she has no father. So there's no way they could have that much money, since her mom only works part-time. See? How could it not be her? And with such an innocent face, too. Huh? Who even are you? Is he a friend of Fushimi-san's? <laughs> Probably not. He doesn't look like the type that would hang out with her. Excuse me, this is the library. Please show some respect. <laughs> Let's go outside. Well, we can finish talking there. I couldn't find any books. Let's go. You heard all that, right? There have been rumors going around my class. The only time I feel safe now is when I'm with you. I don't really have anyone else I can count on. Oh, thank you. You're the only one who's on my side. I don't know what I'd do on my own right now. I, I'm sure I sound like I'm helpless, but, um, I'm okay, just so you know. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you. I have to solve this on my own. Senpai, excuse me. Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the student council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money too. Y yes, you're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her... At least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. 
You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um... Miss President, I... I... I can do this. I just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi. All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! remember what happened that day you had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving I also remember handing the fee money to you directly or are you really going to say that this is my mistake fee money give me an explanation right now or else I'm so sorry you're right it's, it's completely my fault well senpai has been wait what well the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I'd been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> no, I'm not. Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> It's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. I've been like that ever since.
ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while. I didn't think I had it in me, but I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! Huh? What did you say? Oh, I'm so happy! Feels like something out of a manga. Um, uh, I hope we continue to get along well together. Oh, I still have to apologize to the student council president. Um, is it okay if I ask you to wait by the school gate? I'd like for us to be able to go home together. collection I wanted, remember? I bought all three. I blew my whole allowance, but it was definitely worth it. This book is by the same artist. If you're interested, you can borrow it. Just promise to think of me when you read it. Oh, no, no problem. I've read it so many times that I've practically got it memorized. She said she has to stay late at work. And I, I've heard that there have been assaults on women in this area recently. Uh, I really don't want to be alone. Please stay. Just one more hour? I, I don't have to spell it out, do I? T 30 minutes, please. Or, to be more specific, I don't want you to go back to your dorm. There's so many attractive girls there, like the student council president. I know you have to go back eventually, but... Could we be here, together, for just a little longer? I want you to stay. I just need to know that you only have eyes for me. Justice Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the justice within thyself. How about we go to Polonia Mall? I hear the lights and decorations there are absolutely beautiful. How wonderful. It's like we stepped into a novel. Look at how those lights sparkle. 
Oh, and the decorations are so pretty. Wow, there are more decorations over there, too. Since we're here, should we have a look around? Thank you for such a memorable night. Uh, um, I... Um, I figured today was a special day, so I made this for you. It was my first time making something like this, so it's not perfect. But please, um, I hope you'll think of me when you use it. A Christmas present? For me? Um, thank you, Senpai. That was very thoughtful of you. Um, the truth is, I... I've been nervous since this morning. Today is Christmas Eve, so it's a special day for couples. And this is, um, the first time I'm spending Christmas with a... a boyfriend. I don't really know what to do. You look as calm as ever, Senpai. I'm reminded again of how lucky I am to be here right now with the one I love. <sighs> Christmas. What a beautiful season. Just put it to my head. And then pull the trigger. this hour. Don't tell me. Wait! Huh? The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' room. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Well, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Here's your room. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? Huh? Contract? What are you talking about? Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um... I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night! It's Takeba. Are you awake? Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? 
Great, let's set out. If you wanna go ahead. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look! There it is now! Morning! Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you! <sighs> hey, hey, it's Yukata! Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what. Did you? Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? Oh. What? Last night? Wait a minute, <laughs> don't get the wrong idea. Listen. I met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. <sighs> I've locked the door, so we should be safe for now. It's here. <laughs> Wait.
You were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. to tell you something I can kind of relate to you I mean my dad died in an accident when I was little and my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms you're all alone too aren't you to be honest I already heard about your past but it didn't seem fair so I wanted you to know about mine too this was a while ago but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Thanks. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you! Do you hear something? What? There's someone else here? We gotta hide!
It was just the security guard. Of course I don't. We already know it's not a ghost. And besides, I'm not that afraid of... My phone! Why now? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. Uh, what? That's not funny, you know. That teaser was so dramatic. It's like the stuff from overseas. This series is known for having a strong female protagonist. I've been curious about it for a while, but I heard it also has horror elements. <laughs> Wait, really? You're totally fine with that stuff? That's actually perfect. I'll try to push through then. Oh, wait, it's starting. Man, the tension is palpable. That cliffhanger really made me want to know what happens next. I guess it was more zombies than horror, huh? The main girl was just an ordinary person, but she stood so strong in the face of adversity. <laughs> I love that. I feel like I was able to focus on the story thanks to you. I'll let you know when I borrow the next one. to make chicken saute today, but I might have bought too much. I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I always end up having leftovers. What about you? Would you say you're a big eater? <laughs> Come on, you're worried before I even make it? I'm sure it helps if it tastes good, but don't set your expectations too high. Mm, let me just apologize in advance. Either way, it'll be packed full of nutrients, so don't worry about that. They say your health is your most valuable asset, you know? I figured we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. And if I could lose some weight while we're at it, I'd kill two birds with one stone. But let's put that aside for now. Anyway, why don't we start with veggies? Can you cut the tomatoes for me? Uh... I chose breast meat because it was cheap and I heard it's good for a diet, but it's kind of dry. Okay, very dry. I can barely chew through it. And well, that was unexpected. I don't usually mess up this kind of thing. Hey, you're doubting me, aren't you? I'm serious. I'll make up for it next time. So let's cook together again when you get the chance. It'll be so delicious, you can't help saying yum. From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power, it was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. Unfortunately, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. In fact, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth, and it's my duty to tell you. 
What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Wait a sec. My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. I'm afraid the damage will be staggering. At this point, it's unavoidable. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Destroyed the entire world? Whoever is watching this, please. I need you to listen to me very carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. In order to end this, you have no choice but to eliminate all of them. I am the one responsible for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so, I chose to continue without objections. I am responsible. Huh? Dad? You mean that was... <gasps> Father. His name was Eiichiro Takeba. He was the head researcher at the time, and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. Uh, are you... So that means... My dad caused it all. The Dark Hour. Tartarus. The people who died. It was all his fault. Hey. So is that why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, talk about I... I don't want your pity! Talk about... <sighs> Um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Will you go? Thank you. I believed in him for so long. This is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little. You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot. And I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in spring. It was from him. Written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though he said to my family, it was more or less all about me. And that only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But now... Now I can see it was all for nothing. You're just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Reality sure is harsh, huh? I tried so hard to fight my fear. And this is what I get. And you know, I think maybe I was jealous, too. I mean, after all that's happened. Why does Kirijo Senpai's father get to live? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I?
Wow. I don't know how you do it. You're always so calm. Nothing ever phases you. Did you really think I could just be cheered up so easily? You think you know me? You don't know anything! I'm sorry. I can barely make sense of all of this. I'm so afraid. I just feel so lost now. Just tell me! What am I supposed to do now? really are something else. Sorry for acting like this. I know you've lost your parents, too. I'll be alright. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs> Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? <laughs> Aren't you a smooth talker? Thanks, though. Hey! Yeesh, what's taking you guys so long? Everybody was getting worried. It's almost the dark hour, so we gotta head back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, did I miss something? No, I... I just almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Oh, come on! That's common sense! Even I remembered that. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. We can't escape reality, can we? I guess we've just got to stay strong, huh? Yeah, guess so. All right, then. Let's head on back. You did. But when we were at Yakushima, I said some stupid things. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry. It's been on my mind this whole time. <sighs> you know, I always felt like I wanted to just be normal. I wanted to have a family like all the other kids. Mom and dad to come home to. <sighs> Why do we have to be different? Why us? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to lump the two of us together. But I feel like you understand and have been looking out for me. At least that's what I think. <laughs> Is that just wishful thinking? <laughs> that's how I really feel, though.
It's getting cold. Let's go home. always has such crazy plot twists. When the main girl's best friend betrayed her, I was like, what? Being backstabbed by the one person you trusted most is just horrible. What would you do if that happened to you? That's awfully admirable. You sound just like the main character. To be honest, there was once a girl I was close to who suddenly started avoiding me. It wasn't a full-blown betrayal or anything, but I was so hurt by that. It's hard to forgive and forget. Oh shit, it's starting! It's so fast-paced, we really need to pay attention. Oh no way! It's just gonna end like that? Ugh, it happens every time. But they're so good at leaving you hanging. I need to know how it ends. Let's watch more next time, okay? It's getting pretty late. We better head back to our rooms. Episode. I wonder how it's going to end. You know, about this series, I mentioned before how it caught my attention, but I was afraid it might be too scary for me. But I'm glad I watched it. Guess it's important to break out of your comfort zone sometimes. Do you ever try watching things from genres you don't normally get into? <laughs> I'm the same way. Isn't it easier to try something new when you have someone with you for the ride? It's also nice to be able to comment on it and see the other person's reaction. Watching this together made me realize how much I appreciated the main character. Like how she can't turn a blind eye to people in need and extends her hand to almost anyone. And of course the way she kept pressing forward no matter what happened. It was so inspiring. Come to think of it, isn't she just like you? <laughs> That might be a stretch. Remember how I told you about that girl I was close to who started ignoring me one day? It's not like I did anything to make her hate me. We'd been friends for a long time, but one day out of the blue, she just said, my mother told me I can't play with you anymore. It's because there were rumors floating around about my parents. I kind of get it now, looking back, but at the time I was just, What I'm trying to say is, this show made me realize I'd like to be a little more like the main character. I want to be the kind of person who'd help anyone at any time. Someone who's kind and strong. It might be silly to say I look up to a fictional character, but there's no harm in following her example. At least, that's what I think. Episode starting. That ending was so good. I hope they'll make a sequel. I'll bring more DVDs I'm curious about next time. Oh, it's about time we head back to our rooms. Have a good night, okay? This should be enough. There was a program on TV the other day showing how to make tender chicken breasts. Slice against the grain, marinate it in sauce, and then cook gently at a low temperature. I'm gonna reclaim my pride today. Just you wait. Thanks, you can count on me. I'll make it so good, you'll be asking for seconds. 
So, we have to wash our hands first, and then you're in charge of the rice and veggies. Mmm! So tender and juicy. Way better than last time. See? This is what I'm capable of. I knew I could do it if I tried. <laughs> I can tell you like it, too. <laughs> that look on your face says it all. I couldn't help but laugh when you started wolfing it down. Oh, but you didn't actually say yum. Hmm. Anyway, let's eat up. We still have cleaning to do after this. Oh. using the cabbage in the fridge to make a cream stew. I've heard it's healthy from leaf to core, so I'll go ahead and use the entire thing. As you can see, I've done my homework. <laughs> Did you come prepared? I'm back on my game after making that perfect chicken saute. This will be no problem at all. Okay, less talking, more cooking. I'll handle the main dish with the cabbage. So how about you start on the rice and stuff? I'm stuffed. We made short work of that, huh? So, how'd you like today's meal? Oh, you said it! You actually said yum! Finally! I just had to get you to say it today. Hey, remember what I said the very first time we cooked together? That I'd make it so delicious you couldn't help saying yum. I'm pretty stubborn, you know. But I gotta say, it's nice seeing the look on someone's face when they're eating something they really like. It's not just about proving myself. It's that I really wanted to see that smile again. What, <laughs> did that make me sound selfless? Sorry, but this is still a two-way street. Next time, it's your turn to do something for me. Let's make some yummy memories together. Today. Let's do this again when you have some time. Okay, let's hurry and get this cleaned up. Hey there! too fragrant. Roses aren't really my thing. Maybe... Gerberas? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? <laughs> you think so? I like pink too. I guess we have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it, Herberas by themselves might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well, then why am I even asking you? <laughs> but it's the tree. To be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Just kidding. <laughs> wow, look at the time. Gosh, what should I get? I'm actually a pretty indecisive person. Hmm. 
A ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. What do you want to do now? Karaoke? Mommy? Where are you? Hmm? Mommy? Where are you? <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Are you lost? Mommy told me to wait here and she gave me money, but... <laughs> she, she's not going back! <laughs> hey, don't cry. See, you're okay now. I'll stay here with you, alright? Hey, look! We can get help over there. Come on, follow me. The policeman will know what to do. He'll find your mom, so don't worry. What a relief. I'm glad he was able to contact the parents. What were they thinking leaving that poor kid all alone? Stuff like that really makes me upset. But I guess my own mom's no different. Why do you want to know? Sorry, I didn't mean to poke fun at you. Remember what I told you before? How my mom and I aren't very close? Well, if you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say a terrible one. She wasn't always like that, though. After what happened to Dad, she totally changed. She's probably living with one of her boyfriends somewhere. Honestly, I'd rather not know. Anyway, I'm done talking about this, okay? Could we keep this between you and me? You're the only one I've told. I'm not in the mood for karaoke anymore. Let's go home. Thanks. Let's see. I'd like to stop by the drugstore before we head home. Do you mind? It'll just be a little longer. got a phone call. Oh. Hello? Yeah? What? So, get to the point already. Huh? That's not funny. What? How do you think that would make Dad feel? <sighs> Fine. Do whatever you want. Just don't call me again. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You know who I was on the phone with, right? Yeah, it was my mom. She says she wants to get remarried. I don't really care if she wants to get married again. What I can't stand is how she chose to live her life. Running away from things? Jumping from guy to guy? I don't think that's fair to my dad. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay now. Really, thanks. I'll never be like her. I'll never give up standing on my own two feet. 
Running away from your problems by clinging on to others is the worst thing you can do. I've decided I'll make it through on my own. I'll show her that I can be happy that way. Thanks for listening. For some reason, I feel like I can tell you anything. Let's head back now. I'll do the rest of my shopping some other day. money I have. Oh no! Where's my wallet? Did I drop it? But when? I had it when I pulled out my train pass. Wait. Someone bumped into me outside the station. Sorry. I'm gonna go back there and look around. It'll just take a minute. Make sure you wait right here, okay? I'll be fine. So don't come after me. Stay right there. You got it? Bitch. Huh. If you don't behave, you'll lose more than just your wallet. the shit out of you! me didn't I say to wait did you think I needed saving I'm not helpless you know I got my wallet back by myself I didn't need your help no it isn't I'm telling you I don't want to spend my life relying on men I <sighs> Sorry, I overreacted. You came because you were worried about me, right? I'll just go on ahead. I'm all right now. Sorry again. See you. came to help me. Um, sorry I got so mad at you. I was just frustrated. I don't like having to depend on other people, but it ended up happening anyway. <sighs> you know, I couldn't say it at the time, but I'm actually glad you came. Maybe because it's you. So, I want to thank you properly. Thanks for your help back then. I really appreciate it. <laughs> what do you think of me for? Oof, 
That's a big weight off my shoulders. Let's head back down. The roof doesn't get a lot of foot traffic. So I think it's a good place to have serious conversations. But couples tend to sneak up here too. If anyone sees us, the rumor mill might go crazy again. Wouldn't that be annoying? <laughs> you know, if people assumed we were dating. <laughs> really? I'm not sure if you're being brave or oblivious. Still, what's something special about you? You don't get bogged down by what other people think. <laughs> Uh-oh. They say a sneeze means someone's talking about you. <laughs> well, that's probably nothing. Let's head on home, yeah? choice getting the same thing as you. Oh, I was just thinking. Doesn't eating fish remind you of the ocean? It's a part of our lives, I guess, living along the coast. We even spent our vacation at the beach. Hey, after all this is over, why don't we go somewhere different? Like the mountains. We could have lunch outdoors. Maybe we'll even see a deer or something. What do you think? Right? Alright then. I'll make us lunch. I might not look like it, but I'm a pretty good cook. Just you wait and see. <laughs> it's been a while since we've talked about going on vacation. I'm excited just thinking about it. I'm not sure how to say this, but when I'm with you, I don't feel so alone. I mean, I do have friends, and there's everybody at the dorm, but... Usually I feel like the real me is trapped somewhere deep down inside. Maybe it's because of my family situation, but I'm always pushing people away without realizing it. Lately though, that's been changing, and I think it's thanks to you. It's getting late. Shall we head out? Hey there. <laughs> hey, mind if I go take a look at some earrings? wanting new ones, but I can never seem to make up my mind. They're all so cute, you know? There are too many options to choose from. I know! Why don't you come help me pick something out? Yeah! Come on then, let's go! Uh, hang on, I've got a call. Hello? Uh-huh. What? You're not doing it? You want my approval first? Wait, it's fine. You can do what you want to do. Uh, what I mean is, if that's what you really want, then go ahead. It's your choice, so you really don't have to worry about me. Well, then, you want to meet up and talk about it? Uh, hey, stop it. Don't cry. I'll try to call you more, too, okay? All right. I... <sighs> that was my mom. She apologized for everything that's happened. She said she won't get remarried until I'm okay with it. That's weird. He can't stop shaking for some reason. Can we sit for a while? Sorry about all that. I'm fine now. I was just surprised. I never expected this to happen. I told her we could meet up and talk about her remarriage. I'm nervous just thinking about it. I don't ex 
exactly want to. I'm afraid it might get ugly. We haven't seen each other in almost 10 years, so it's not going to be easy. I'm afraid I'll get angry and say something cruel. Still, I think it's time I try talking to her. I've been saying how wrong it is to run away, so I need to live up to my own advice. You know, I think she still misses my dad deep down, but she couldn't handle it. Losing someone so important to her. That's why she needed someone to lean on. I think losing someone you love and having to go on alone is really, really hard. I'm not sure how to explain, but I realized this after being with you. I think being in love means giving a part of yourself away. And that's a wonderful thing. <laughs> I mean, just in general, you know? next time. Let's just go home for today. Hey! Thanks! <sighs> yes, I'm here! Oh, sorry. Don't scare me like that. So, there's something I want to ask you. Um... Why do you spend so much time with me? It's gotten you into a whole mess of trouble. And honestly, some of the stuff I've said is really not okay. Is it because we're both Persona users? Or are we actually good friends? Or... Do you, by any chance, have feelings for... What do you really think of me? What? No way! Are you serious? You're not pulling my leg, are you? You really mean it? Sorry, it just feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. The tears won't stop coming. <laughs> You're so hard to read. You're always so kind to everyone. That's why I thought you saw me as just a friend like everyone else. Lately, I found myself getting upset when I've seen you talking with Fuka. It made me scared that I was turning into a petty, jealous person. I felt awful about it. So, um... I'd like it if you had eyes for me. And only me. snuck you into my room. They'll hear me if I'm too loud. <gasps> Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Hey, you don't need to say it. Jeez. Whatever. Oh, right. I wanted to give you something. And this is for you. Yeah. 
You know what it is, right? It's the strap from my cell phone. I got it at the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It's been my special keepsake for years now, because my dad bought it for me. I used to talk to the little charm attached to it when I was alone in my room. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? But ever since I got to know you, I've stopped talking to it. It means a lot to me. So I should explain why I'm giving it to you. I'm only gonna say this once, okay? I... I love you. That's it. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Lover's Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Lover's within thyself. Maybe we can spend some time together. Just the two of us. In fact, would it be alright if I jumped the gun a bit and took some of that time right now? I'm not ready to say goodnight yet. <laughs> I'm blushing, aren't I? Hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? It, that's it? That's the voice? Wait, didn't that come from behind us? Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes! Wow! You're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here! Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much! I... Yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Mm, no good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um... Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. 
There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon, although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Damn it! What the hell's going on? I'm totally lost here. It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've gotta hurry! Hey! Wait for me! What? There's two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <sighs> Sun. Gotta draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it. Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Hey! What the? Uh, Uka. No, what are you doing here? Hey, come back! Please get out of here! It's not safe! I. I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Hey! Look out! I have to protect her! Yamagishi-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, better take your place. We'll handle these guys. Weaknesses. Are there more of them? Don't worry. It's over. Puka. You... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Puka! It's all right. She's just exhausted. Uka... Uka... I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? 
Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry! <laughs> So, you're Fuka Yamagishi-kun, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Uh, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho-senpai. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sanada-senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it... Do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Yamigishi-san? Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? I've heard a lot about you from Yamigishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um, I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, Keisuke-senpai. You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. 
Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year, Hiroga Senpai? Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey, do you have an eye for art? <laughs> then maybe we'll get to learn a thing or two from you. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Let's get you signed up, shall we? Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you. Let's wrap up for today. Good work, everyone. Whew, all done. All right, let's clean up and go home. really figure out what's causing the pain. It might lead to serious complications down the road. Does anywhere else hurt? Are your nose and throat all right? Does it feel like your head is in a vice? Oh boy, here we go. Heisuke Senpai strikes again. Yamagishi-san won't be going anywhere for a while. someone isn't feeling well, he always tries to figure out what's wrong. And it doesn't matter when or where. Once he starts, it takes forever. Heisuke Senpai's dad's the director of a big hospital, and he's an only child. I guess he just can't stand to see people suffer. I bet he'll end up going to medical school. So the pain's originating from the back of your head? Could you turn around, please? Ah, don't worry. It's just a chronic tension type headache. Most likely the result of stress. You might be spending too much time in front of the computer. Try to get outside and exercise more. It must seem funny to get medical advice from the head of the art club. I was worried I'd come down with the flu or something. In that case, I can do a more thorough check. Could you remove your shirt? Also, open your mouth and stick out your tongue. What? Uh, that's okay. I'm fine. Besides, our dorm isn't far, so he can accompany me back. Uh, sorry, sorry. Wait, you two live in the dorms? I guess I see it in Yamagishi-san. She seems like the well-adjusted type. I bet you're a great cook. Do you take care of the laundry? Is living alone hard? Sorry, Yamagishi-san. I forgot about your condition. I know it's close, but I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? Though a bumpy taxi ride might make your headache worse. Maybe a limousine would be better. Uh, that's okay. 
I'm fine, really. Um... Maybe give it a taste, if that's okay. I used vinegar as a base for relieving fatigue, and then added a bunch of citrus. You know, just some simple, light flavors. your honest opinion, okay? H how was it? Really? Please, let me know if there's anything I can improve on. Actually, you don't look so well, leader. Oh no! What do I do? Um, I'll go get some water. Wait right here! I'm sorry I made you taste test my cooking. I just figured that I could count on you for an honest opinion. Well, uh, thank you for your time today. I'm going to keep at it. I, I should focus on making it edible first, though. I am Val. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the High Priestess Arcana. than last time, right? Oh, a kitty cat! Oh, he's so cute! I did hear there were lots of strays around here. He's looking at the bento box. I wonder if he's hungry. Maybe I should give him some food. What do you think? Flavored rice, it should be okay. Here you go, kitty. Huh? What happened? Oh, no, not again. Hmm. It does have some bitterness, I guess. I thought I struck a good nutritional balance, though. I know nutrition's not the issue here. Sorry. I can't let you eat this. I don't want to put you in the hospital. No! I'll figure out what to do with this later. You can't eat it. I'm so hopeless. I just wanted to do something to help everyone outside of battle. There aren't many chances to eat homemade food when you live in the dorm. 
So, I thought it would be nice to cook for everyone. But... I'm sorry. I'll keep trying to get better, though. for me to say this, considering what just happened, but I hope you'll be willing to taste test my cooking again. I don't think I can do this alone. Can I count on you to help? Oh, that's great! Thank you. I'm going to keep working at it. Then someday, you'll tell me you like my cooking. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. I need to buy more ingredients. So I should get going. I'll see you later. Remember how I told you I wanted to improve my cooking? Well, I've been trying a lot since then, but I can never seem to get the taste right. I still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? A dash? Oh, so speed is important? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I've just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. To tell you the truth, I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. just started. I can't let this keep me down. Maybe I should try taking notes. That might help me figure out what I'm doing wrong. I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. But you know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, I never think like that. You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Actually might be a little too advanced for me. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Mm, but in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. Oh, you don't mind? But... Mm, I don't know. If we're looking for books, that means we'd need to go to the bookstore. It's not a big deal or anything, but I don't really like going to bookstores. Oh my gosh, when did it get so late? I have to go! Um, the hairdryer burned out, so I was planning on fixing it. But I was hoping to get it done before Yukari-chan and the others got back. Sorry, do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? ingredient in my cooking but I couldn't really decide and I wasn't sure how to use whatever I'd buy yes you're right I haven't even gotten the basics down yet 
I'm getting way too ahead of myself. First thing I need to do is find something that I can actually make. I'm still having a lot of trouble getting things right, but I can't give up yet. Not after all your support. And it's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. No, that's not true at all. I mean, everyone in our group works hard, and beyond that, I think you all have something that you're good at. Not me. I mean, I guess I'm sort of good with machines, but that's it. It's honestly not worth mentioning. Really, I just happen to like them. It's not exactly something worth boasting about. When I was little, I remember my dad's hobby was to work on complicated sound equipment. He'd fix things like broken amplifiers or headphones that only played sound on one side. I've always loved watching him work on those things. That's probably why I was drawn to working with machines in the first place. But I don't think that would be very useful to repay everyone's kindness. Plus, if we do ever have any technical needs, like when we're fighting, then we've always got the Kirijo group support. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. Later. Thank you. I sure seem to talk about my problems a lot, huh? I wonder why it's so easy talking to you. I feel like you stop me from being so negative all the time. Actually, I might owe a lot to you in that sense. Oh, it's getting late. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk so much. Let's go home. day, I recommended the novel I'm reading to a classmate. I don't talk to her much, but at the time we were discussing a movie we'd both seen. She wasn't too keen on the recommendation and turned me down though. It was because the series looked hard to get into. There are so many volumes. If she just gave it a chance, I know she would see how interesting it is. The basic premise is about journeying to other planets, and even that by itself already sounds intriguing. And the writing is so unique and poetic. I can't help but get sucked in. Recommending something to someone is a really tricky thing, huh? Well, thank you anyways. I appreciate you showing interest in that book. Okay, I think I'll read a little further myself. <sighs> I finished the whole thing. flies by so quickly. Let me know your thoughts on it next time. Well then, good night. Measuring the pH of the soil, or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? Oh, um, yes. I looked up a bunch of stuff online. I thought it might be helpful. I do like flowers and stuff, but I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. I've always wanted to try putting in the work to grow some, though. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to go on about myself like that. Shall we keep working for a bit more? I'll go get some water. This looks good. Do you think...
think you could invite me when you tend the plants again? I'll do more research so I'm in a better position to help out next time, too. something I want you to try. And this time, it isn't just for a taste test. I think you'll actually be able to eat it. Wait, uh, maybe I said the same thing last time. Well, now I mean it. trouble with cooking? Well, I decided to try and find a recipe that even I couldn't mess up. And after a lot of consideration, I thought maybe making rice balls is something I could handle. But then I got really absorbed in how simple they are to make, yet still so hard to master. I made some rice balls today in home economics class too. I know it's a little silly to make something so basic in high school, but it was all I could manage. But then, everyone in the class told me they were really good, though. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to have you try one. I wanted you to see how much progress I've made. Because I don't think I could have made it this far without you. Thanks. I know I've said this before, but when I'm with you and the rest of the team, I'm able to see things more positively. And I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting to make others happy. That might be the reason why I made such good rice balls. Because I was thinking about who was going to eat them. Of course! Just let me know anytime you want some. Um... I just wanted to say... Thank you so much. Really. So, it turns out, there's actually a trick to making good rice balls. The first thing to note is while you're washing the rice, reading the final volume? You looked really focused when you were reading. I can definitely relate. When I got to the end, I was so absorbed that I almost forgot to breathe. What an amazing series! I didn't notice at first, but at some point I could suddenly just make sense of the complex setting. Isn't it weird how that works? If it was just straight exposition, it would be exhausting trying to keep track of everything. Being able to tie the world building into the narrative really shows how skilled the author is. I wish I could communicate as well as the author does in this book. Remember when I told you how I recommended a book to a classmate, but she turned me down? Knowing what to say is important, but how you say it is difficult too. Before I could tell her how fascinating the story is, I was telling her how many volumes it was, and that it's written by a famous author. I don't think that kind of information's going to persuade someone to read. Thanks. 
Maybe I'll try talking to her again. I think I'll have a lot of good things to say about this book now. It always feels nice when someone shows an interest in something you like. Even just sharing our opinions like this is so refreshing. That's why I really want to work on how I communicate things. Because if I do that, then maybe I'll get more fun moments like this. Look at the time. We should probably call it a night. Um, I have some other books I can recommend, if you'd like. Thank you. I hope you'll like those too. Well then, good night. Um... Thank you. I decided I want to be able to make more than just rice balls. I started learning how to cook because I wanted to thank everyone for what they've done for me. But only knowing how to make rice balls isn't going to cut it. I told myself I needed to do something more, but then I started to doubt myself again. That's when I thought of you. So what I'm saying is, um, I'd like you to help me for just a bit longer. And I'd really appreciate it if you could keep giving me your advice. I promise I'm going to do the best I can. So, can I count on you? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I just want to thank everyone for helping me find my place in the world. I know I don't seem very reliable, but I want to make myself a useful member of the team. Personally, I don't think so, but thank you. You're always so encouraging. More than anything, though, I want to keep learning. For your sake, too. I'd like to be able to help you with more than just fighting. You don't think I'm... I'm overdoing it, right? Sorry, I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. I'm going to head back now. something like this in a book at the library. It might be a common disease in vegetables and flowers. What do we do? What if the plants die? Yes, you're right. This is exactly what I did all that reading for. From what I can tell, it doesn't look too serious yet. If we take care of it now, it should be all right. We just need to cut off the white parts and... That's right! Vinegar! It's said to put some diluted vinegar on the affected areas. I'll go get some from downstairs. <sighs> I think that's about everything we can do. It picked up the fallen leaves, and the air circulation is good now, too. Everything should be fine now. All that's left is to trust they can recover. Thank you for today. I wouldn't have been able to save the plans if you hadn't been here. I'm still a little worried, but please let me help out again sometime. Um... Thank you! were there. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that store mainly sold manga. I should have looked the place up beforehand. <sighs> oh, um, do you mind if we take a seat? Do you remember what I told you before? 
I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores. Well, about that. I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once. I think it was at the start of last April. Someone took a picture of me. They accused me of stealing. I'm not very tall, right? So when I was reaching for a high shelf, I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf. But some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. Right? I bet you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me. If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that. But I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. I thought no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th th that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... I've really come to depend on you, and... I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. concerns with everyone at the dorm, but somehow, I find myself always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. I wonder why. I I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. in order. Could we talk about this again later? <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to head back now. Um... Uh -huh. Yes, this looks good. Just to be safe, we should adjust the amount of fertilizer and make sure they get enough sun. They look like they're growing fine now. <sighs> what a relief. to helping hand i'm sure tending them is important but it's all thanks to the plants themselves for being so strong you know after i treated the plants when they were sick i kept coming back here to check on them i noticed that the spots where we had cut off the leaves were already sprouting new ones and in just a little while they were healthy and green all over again maybe i'm making a big deal of this but it made me realize that life is actually quite amazing. It didn't matter that they had been weakened or had damaged parts. Just giving them a little support was enough for them to show how strong they really are. Yes, if we hadn't had to take care of them like this, I never would have noticed. I'm not sure how to say it, but I hope I can be as resilient as these plants are. check on the plants one more time just to show my appreciation maybe if I keep thanking them they'll grow even healthier so I tried putting my thoughts in order 
I was so confused last time that I couldn't find the right words. I've said before, but I have a bad habit of thinking negatively. Like when I have a difficult time deciding on something, but no one knows what the future holds. No matter how much you prepare, you can never really be sure what will happen. So in situations like that, I think the most important thing you can do is believe. You have to think positively and trust that the future will smile upon you. The thing is, I'm not sure I can do that. I don't understand how it comes so naturally to everyone else. How are you able to tell yourself that things will work out in the end? Oh, I see. You really are strong. I think I really admire that part of you. So, um, the reason I've been relying on you isn't just because you're our leader. It's because you're you. It needs to be you. I think to myself, once I learn how to cook and I've paid you back for your help, will that be the end of us spending time together like this? Thank you, but I'm sure there are lots of other people who depend on you, right? I can't get in the way of that. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so depressed. Oh, well, look at the time. We should start heading back. Hey, uh, do you mind if we'd make a small detour? I want to buy some ingredients. I think I'll tackle making Korochan's dinner today. You know... <laughs> so... Um... Please don't laugh at this, okay? The other day, I let Yukari-chan try a new dish I made. She liked it so much, she ended up eating it all. So I told her it was meant to return the favor for what everyone's done for me. But she got really confused and asked me what favor this was about. It didn't seem like she had any idea what I was talking about, so I told her the whole story. And when I finished, she burst out laughing. She told me I didn't need to do anything like that. She said, when you're friends, you don't keep score. Hmm. I'd been so negative this whole time. I felt like I needed to be useful to belong here. Even though that wasn't true at all. It was just what I was telling myself. I was being blinded by my fear. But understanding this made me realize what I really wanted to do. I've been going on about wanting to repay everyone for what they've done for me. But the real reason is a lot more simple. So, um, will you hear me out? Normally, I'd ask your opinion on how best to do something like this, but... <sighs> I... I want you by my side. I want to be together with you. Forever. Um, I, I hope you understood what I meant just now. by your side. As long as I have you, I feel like I can handle anything. Um, I love you. Sorry 
if my room smells like food. It's because I taste test my cooking in here every once in a while. I don't really know how my room smells anymore because I'm so used to it. Um, uh, did you know that out of our five senses, smell is the one that adapts the fastest, so, uh... <sighs> Sorry, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes. Sorry. It's just, um, this is the first time I've ever invited a boy to my room, so... Um, do you remember how I said I don't feel like I have the strength to believe in the future? Well, being with you has taught me why. I think it's because I never finish anything I start. People who've never known happiness probably can't imagine themselves being happy in the future either. And that's how I was. I always used to quit before I could find out what good might come from something. I never had a future to look forward to. But I finally realized how I really feel. And so, um, I felt like I needed to tell you. Or rather, I wanted to tell you, no matter how it might change things between us. You know, I think I have what it takes to change. Slowly, but surely, as long as I have you, I don't think I'll lose my way. I know. Oh, I almost forgot. There's something I wanted to give you. Um, here it is. Since you're always listening to music, I thought you might like these. And I think you were a fan of this design, so I tried to match it. This is from my heart. Remember how I told you that I was pretty good with machines? Well, I wanted you to see that side of me instead of my cooking side. I just want you to know everything about me. What do you think? Really? Oh, I'm so happy. Whenever you listen to them, it'll be like I'm there with you. No matter where we might be. so much fun. I didn't mean to keep you for so long. <sighs> I didn't realize it was so late. Huh. Um, we still have time, right? Just a little longer. Please, stay with me.
that yukata is so cute. Huh. I didn't know they made ones like that. Well, if I was gonna bother to wear one, should have shopped around more before deciding. <laughs> really? Wait. Since when were you so bold about that stuff? I guess I'll take it as a compliment. But still, Yukatas are a bit... How should I say... Breezy? It's great for warm weather. The fabric is so thin. I don't know how people get used to it. I guess women in the old days were just that laid back. Mmm, something smells good. I guess it's dinner time, huh? No wonder I'm so hungry. Hey, wanna get some takoyaki? I don't think I could eat the whole thing by myself, so why don't we share an order? Hi, I'd like one order of takoyaki, please. Let's see... Could I have some extra seaweed and bonita flakes? And go easy on the mayo. Oh, you know your stuff. Gotcha. Coming right up. Here you go. I threw in one extra just for you. Hope you and your boyfriend enjoy it. Thank you. Did you hear that? She called you my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know I shouldn't talk with my mouth full. I was trying to say that it tastes like Octopia. You know, the place by the station? Hey, wait a minute. Do you think that lady at the stand was the same person? Either way, it's delicious. Ooh, look at those masks. I've never seen those in person before. Look, there's a dog one! Hey, doesn't it look a bit like Koro-chan? Oh, right. This shrine is his home. Do you think they made that mask to honor him? Then again, the shop only came here for the festival. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Hey, you two! Wanna try your hand at a lucky draw? Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. A lucky draw. Huh. What do you think? He said the odds are good. Want to give it a try? I'll watch. Congratulations! You won! Wow! You must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here's your prize. Enjoy! Nice! I always assumed these things were rigged. This might be the first time I've seen someone actually win something. I thought we'd see some of our classmates here. But I guess not. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. Still, I'm glad we got to enjoy the festivities. Thanks for today. I had a lot of fun. Let's go somewhere together again soon. <laughs> oh, look, a yukata. Hmm. Maybe I should have worn one too. Don't you think I'd look good in one? You think so? <laughs> I guess Yukatas really are a must for summer festivals then. Although they are kind of stuffy and hard to move in. They're more inconvenient than most people might think. The last time I wore one was when I was just a child. I remember taking it off right away because it was just too hot. Oh, uh, wait, that was a kimono. <laughs> Mmm, something smells good. Hey, are you hungry? Let's eat some takoyaki. I'll split it with you. One order of 
takoyaki, please? Wait, this takoyaki. Is there no octopus in it? That's for you to eat and find out. Hang on a sec. I'll make one for you now. Just don't try to peek at what I'm putting inside. <sighs> Here you go. One order of takoyaki. Here, have some. Mmm, mmm, ah, oh, hot, hot, hot. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm, and so tender inside. Mmm, there's something really tough and chewy in the middle. Hmm. I wonder what was in it. Look at all the different masks. <laughs> My parents used to buy them for me when I was little. I always got the ones from that superhero TV show. Oh, look! They still have the same ones as back then. Oh, this really brings me back. Hey, you two! Want to try your hand at a lucky draw? Make some nice memories? What do you say? Odds are looking good. Lots of winning tickets left. Hey, look! A lucky draw! That sounds fun, doesn't it? Let's give it a try. I am a sucker for games like this. Congratulations! You won! Wow! You must have incredible luck to win on your first try! Here's your prize! Enjoy! Oh, that looks pretty expensive. You picked a good ticket. But didn't that guy seem a little upset about it? <laughs> oh, look at the time. Oh, we should start heading back. Thanks. I had a great time today. Let's go to more fun events like this in the future. Oh, that yukata looks nice. I don't have one myself, though. How do you feel about yukatas? Yukata would be more appropriate for the summer festival. Oh, but you were, um, giving me a compliment, weren't you? Sorry. And thank you. I'd like to get a Yukata, but whenever I have money, I end up spending it on books. Which reminds me, I got a new manga recently. It's really easy to get into, and the story makes you feel all warm inside. Oh, sorry. We were talking about Yukatas, weren't we? Mmm, something smells delicious. It must be takoyaki. Um, do you think we should order some? I don't think I can finish them by myself, so maybe we can split them? Excuse me, can I get one order of takoyaki, please? You sure can. Here you go, one order of takoyaki. Today, I'm using a special ingredient in place of the octopus. Takoyaki without octopus? I'm a little scared to try it. It smells so good. I guess we're about to find out what's inside. Here you go. They're hot, so be careful. Hmm. Um. Oh, it's so good. It's all juicy inside, but I can't figure out what she put in them. Wow, look at all the masks. That cat one is cute. I just want to pet it. Oh, a Hiyotoko mask. It looks so weird, like an octopus. <laughs> now I feel like I'm really in the summer festival spirit. Hey, you too! Wanna try your hand at a lucky draw? Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Lucky drawing? That could be fun. Shall we give it a try?
Congratulations! You won! Wow! You must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here's your prize. Enjoy! Wow! You actually got a prize! This might be the first time I've seen someone win at a game like this. Oh, look at the time. It feels like it went by so fast. Thank you for joining me today. I had so much fun. If any other events come up, um, maybe we could go together? here wearing yukatas. Um, I don't stand out too much, do I? I usually don't wear this kind of clothing, so I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. Really? Thank you. You know, wearing this has made me think. Yukatas are so light and airy. They're perfect for the humid summers we have here in Japan. Yukatas look so simple at first glance, but they're actually very elegantly designed. <gasps> Sorry, I guess that's not really what people talk about at a festival, huh? Um, oh, it's about time for dinner. Let's get something to eat from one of the food stalls. Excuse me? May I have one order of takoyaki, please? You sure can. Here you go. One order of takoyaki. I threw in an extra one for you. Hope you and your boyfriend enjoy it. Oh, um, thank you. She gave us an extra piece of takoyaki. I guess we should eat then. It's a little too hot for me to eat at home, but, but it's so good! It tastes just like the takoyaki at Octopia, doesn't it? Oh. Wait a minute. Do you think she's the same person? Maybe they're twins. Look at those masks! There are animal ones, too! There's a cat, a dog, and... An octopus? Oh, it's actually a Hyotoko mask. So, it's a man's face, not an animal. These masks really set the mood for the festival, don't you think? Hey, you two! Wanna try your hand at a lucky draw? Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. A lucky draw, huh? Maybe we should give it a shot. But I'm not very lucky, so I think you should do it. Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! Actually won? That's amazing! We've been here for quite some time. We should probably get going. Thank you for today. I've actually never had a chance to go to one of these before. It was a lot of fun. Agus, be sure not to stray too far from us. Are my words even registering to you? I see. 
So you wish to restrain me? Be warned that my ability to jettison my hand from my wrist would make holding it a poor method of restraint. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? This aroma... This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep, I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. Coming right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? Your juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. What are those? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. Hmm. Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. I look forward to that. Hey there, ladies! Wanna try your hand at a lucky draw? Make some nice memories? What do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! I have won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in combat against the shadows? Here, let's trade. In exchange, I'll give you these marbles I won. They're beautiful. Don't you agree? Well, I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. Hmm. Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. I look forward to that. The 
goes there. How are you here at this hour? Don't tell me. Wait. Huh? The lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in this dorm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Well, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Welcome back. Yes. So dance, if you wanna go ahead, free to do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. I'm out in my biz, so mind your own biz. Whatever like is, we go flow with the set. Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire. Every day we inspire, but never expire. Do you have a minute? I'm sorry, but I'll need some of your time after school. I have a special request for you. I apologize if I'm being abrupt, but I couldn't think of a better person to ask. I'll tell you more about it after school. Until then. Sorry to keep you waiting. To make a long story short, I'd like you to join student council. We meet regularly, but I don't expect you to participate every time. Just come to the student council room when you can. Because of your ability to lead, being president is very time-consuming. I'd like to have an ally to support me in the event of an emergency. An ally meaning someone who understands my situation. You know what it means to be a leader, so I'm asking you. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. And I've already filed and approved your student council membership on your behalf. But you'll have to go to the faculty office on your own to sign everything. I'm sorry for making arrangements without your permission, but I hope you understand the position I'm in. Once you're ready, come to the student council room. I'll be waiting for you there. Yes. I see. So dance. If you wanna go ahead, mm. we do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. I'm out in my biz, so mind your own biz. Whatever like Thank is, you. we go flow with the set. Help yourself to the snacks as well, if you'd like. Today, I wanted to show my thanks for your hard work, as well as check in to see how you're doing. Ever since you joined us, you've been taking on a lot of responsibility as leader of our group. Have you been running into any trouble? If you have, please don't be afraid to let me know. I apologize for putting so much pressure on you. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to say, I am grateful that you agreed to take on the leadership role. And I want you to know that you're doing an excellent job. Akihiko was right about you. Your cup is empty. Let's pour you another. It's late. We ended up spending a lot of time here. 
Let's turn in for the night. Oh, I'll take care of the cleanup. I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. I'd like to invite you again when the opportunity arises. Then with that, I bid you a good night. Hmm. I didn't put a lot of thought into what books I brought. I just took whatever caught my attention. I apologize. I should have asked what your preferences were beforehand. If you don't mind my asking now, what kinds of books do you usually read? Oh, do you now? I'm partial to historical fiction myself. I actually read a lot of it. I'm rather fond of novels. All you have to do is turn the page to experience another person's life. And that reminds me, Yamagishi mentioned liking novels as well. I never inquired further, but maybe she'd make for a good reading partner. Incidentally, the books I brought today are things like biographies and history books. I can attest that they're all worthwhile reads. Rather accessible ones, too. I hope you find them to your liking. You're really tearing through the pages. I'm impressed by your focus. <sighs> it's nice to spend some time reading quietly together like this. Thank you. That made for a relaxing evening. Well then, it's about time we return to our rooms. Good night. Feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you then? Are you having a good time? My apologies. Let me take care of that for you. <laughs> I'm glad you aren't afraid to speak up when you want something. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm? We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to... Actually... Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. Alright, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Yes. Thank you. Today, I'd like to make a snack food that would pair well with tea. That said, I'm not terribly well-versed in the art of cuisine. So I'm hoping to make some simple karumeyaki. Did your teachers ever show you how to make it? Excellent. Then I don't need to explain. All right, let's get started. Temperature control is key. We want to turn off the heat right before it hits 130 degrees Celsius. Oh, we should keep things moving. Let's put the sugar in the ladle first. What a nostalgic flavor. It may not require hours in the kitchen, and the taste isn't particularly complex. But I'm quite fond of these. And more than anything, it's nice that we can make it ourselves. You know, when I saw this for the first time, I thought it was like magic. I've tried making it myself a number of times, but I ended up burning it on every attempt. I guess you could call it a bittersweet memory. But I didn't give up. I continued practicing. And that's finally led to our success today. What do you think? Hearing you say that makes me glad to have shared it. Back home, there were plenty of opportunities to host formal dinners and tea parties, but I never considered it particularly admirable to have someone else prepare the extravagant dishes. 
Doing the cooking myself also allows me to talk with you like this. And isn't that sort of familiarity the key to understanding each other better? I think this might have been what I was missing. Instead of complaining about being difficult to approach, I needed to create an opportunity for change. <laughs> it's fascinating the kind of things you learn by simply inviting someone over for tea. Thank you. Oh, right. I had a favor to ask. There's still some sugar and baking soda left. Do you think you could help me make another batch? Karameyaki keeps for a long time. This could be a good chance to make some for the others. Do you ever feel encouraged reading about the influential figures of the past? Even leaders who forged great nations faced the challenges of interpersonal relationships. Well, it's natural to consider things, isn't it? Oh, were you expressing concern for me? Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract from our reading. Shall we get back to it? Oh, look at the time. I think that's enough for today. That was a pleasant time together, hearing nothing but the sound of each other's pages. I'd like to hear your thoughts on our reading again sometime. But for now, good night. Salut! I see you're reading a biography of the Empress Dowager from the Qing Dynasty. By many accounts, she was vilified as a ruthless despot during her reign. Then again, these kinds of stories are known to stretch the truth. Oh, pardon me. I'm getting ahead of myself. I should let you read first. is the right way for a person to rule. Too much kindness and you'll be seen as weak. Sometimes a ruler needs to be harsh. Even so, I imagine the Empress Dowager's final years must have been lonely, given that she was feared by her people. What do you think? A ruler is responsible for the lives of many others. Is it difficult for someone like that to find happiness like everyone else? Happiness equal to the hardship, perhaps. It's hard to imagine what form it will take, but I'd like to believe that's true. You know, thanks to you, I've been able to sit down and reflect on a reading for the first time in a while. It really does help to have a partner going through the same book as you. Being able to discuss the material allows us to broaden our horizons even further. Storied figures are often only written about after their passing, but surely sparks of their greatness could have been seen long before. Sometimes I find myself thinking you have that same potential. <laughs> and you've got away with words. I trust you won't disappoint. Jokes aside, I do have a lot of faith in your abilities. I hope you'll wield them with confidence. Oh, it's gotten late. We'd best turn in for the evening. Let's have another reading session here in the future. But for now, have a good night. Ikutsuki-san. I guess? What are you doing here? 
She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? Kutsuki-san! Who are you trying to pull? You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why? What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the Shadows, getting rid of the Dark Hour. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Kirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. No. You tricked us? It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death, the Almighty, shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you saying? Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? You see, I too was a scientist on the project ten years ago. The experiment did go awry, but that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many shadows. To initiate the fall. That can't be. Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The attempt years ago failed, but the time has come at last. I am that prince. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you, but all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer, and you too will find salvation. Find it how? By dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad, he said the shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie too? Ah, uh, that was in fact his recording. Of course I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. He didn't know me at the time, but I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. So you were behind it all? You used my dad! And me too! Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you... <sighs> I was hoping you'd be able to see the light. But you are just kids, after all. 
Maybe my expectations were too high. I guess it's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. I guess what's wrong? I guess please. Engaging. What's going on here? <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> what is this? <sighs> Damn it! I can't get these off! What is the meaning of this? It's exactly what it looks like. They are our sacrifices. Harbingers of the fall. All the pieces are in place. And now, the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? Bastard! You're full of shit! My, my, how lively. I guess... Affirmative. Father! You traitor! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. You fool. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. <laughs> what are you doing, I guess? I. I. Fine. I'll do it myself. Ten years. I've wasted ten long years. I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions. of a machine! I'll do it! <laughs> it's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this is to start over! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. Yes, I was chosen. I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> what a shame. I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> How did it come to this? Ikutsuki san, Father. Father! <laughs> father... My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I became a Persona user so I could protect him! <laughs> with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Chef de Cuisine? Talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? The hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss, can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry. Um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? Good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future.
Didn't notice the time. We should be going. Hello. Greatly appreciate. Interesting. So this is what the interior looks like. It's smaller than I expected. Well, technically, yes. But I did pass by once with Akihiko. So, I understand that you don't eat with utensils here? My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. I didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Hello. Thank you. Interesting. So this... Takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. I mean, that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. <sighs> Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. think I am. Please, allow me to be the one to treat you. What? They don't accept credit cards. <sighs> so it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Hmm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Hmm? Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. That reminds me, Akihiko once mentioned this place. Hmm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it, but I've known him for quite a long time. Feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. Of course I'm happy. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. right. Maybe a part of me is panicking because I feel like I'm being left behind. Oh, sorry, don't mind me. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling, just... Forget I said anything. Thank you. 
That takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. Salut. You know, there's not much time left for us to spend like this. In just a short while, we'll be looking back on these days with nostalgia. No, I'm probably just tired. It's nothing you need to worry about. Since my father passed away, I've been faced with a number of complicated issues. My inheritance, the future of the Kirijo group, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. It's possible I won't be going to college or starting a career. I may need to walk a different path. Say, what does marriage mean to you? <laughs> That's a straightforward answer. However, I'm a Kirijo. I can't let my feelings tug me around when making these decisions. An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, takes careful consideration. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons, but as time passed, they slowly grew to honestly love each other. I don't think they were unhappy with their lives. Love can take many different forms. Am I wrong about this? If I could speak with my father one last time, I would ask him directly. <laughs> Looks like we ended up staying until closing time. Talking in the library. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go. Hello. Thank you. It's so simple. You just purchase a ticket at the window and then walk in to enjoy a film. This may sound silly to you, but I've always wanted to try the whole theater experience. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel that my view was compromised in the least. It seems a lot of thought goes into the design and construction of a movie theater. It's thanks to you. I've never felt comfortable enough to come here alone. I'm sure most people don't consider this to be such a big deal. I imagine someone like Yukari would have no reservations seeing a movie by herself. She's likely more suited to riding a motorcycle than I am as well. Yes, you must have seen it when I rode in to provide support for the team. However, that wasn't my original motivation for getting it. With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all on my own. You could say it's my modest attempt at rebellion against the many restrictions of my life. After it was damaged, I considered letting go, but ultimately I decided to have it repaired instead. I don't regret it. Even now, I spend my time tuning it whenever I can. Together? Just the two of us. Can you ride one on your own? Or do you plan to cling on behind me? <laughs> Whichever it is, you've got your work cut out for you. In any case, you have my thanks. I'm feeling a lot better now.
know, I have to wonder, when my parents went through stressful times, maybe they had moments like this too. Sorry, I know this isn't the proper place to stand around chatting, but if it's alright with you, why don't we stay here a bit longer before heading back? Sorry to drag you along on this personal venture. <sighs> hmm? Oh, no, there's no need. Thank you, though. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are so many books about romance, but far fewer on the domestic life that comes after it. I wonder if that means the most exciting time in one's life comes prior to the wedding. Does everyone go into marriage with the expectation of losing something? The truth is, the group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. And some of the older members are of the opinion that a student like me isn't up to the task. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. I need to show that I can take the lead, even if I have to make sacrifices to do it. Uh, fiancé has been chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stable both inside and out. This is the best solution for everyone involved. Well, of course you didn't. You're the only person I've told so far. My mother and father walked the same path, so I won't run from my fate. Of course I am. Think about it. What would I do if I broke off the engagement? Leave everything behind and go on a journey of self-discovery? Why would you ask me that? You're making me doubt myself. Say, recently I've been feeling a little hesitant about meeting up with you like this. I already made the decision to carry out my duty, but whenever I talk with you, my resolve begins to falter. Why do I feel this way when I'm with you? <laughs> I think it would be best if we left off here for today. Sorry to do this after inviting you out here, but I need to head home and go over some paperwork on the partnership. Excuse me. for fast food. Just the other day, I had the urge to ride my motorcycle out at night to buy some. <laughs> it's your fault that I'm having these temptations now, you know. <sighs> Do you remember when I told you I was hesitant to meet up with you like this? I'd like it if you could forget I ever said that. We both sleep under the same roof. There's no point in stressing over it. And besides, I just need to steal my resolve. Say, I have just one favor to ask. Could you continue to show me new places like this? Just until graduation. I'd like to see more of this world that I've been so blind to. Or is that too selfish a request? Thank you. Let's make some wonderful memories with what little time we have left. You've taught me so many new things.
Whether you're taking command in battle or just talking with me like this, as long as I have these memories of you, I'll be all right. Or so I hope. Now then, the day is still young. You promised me your time. I'd like you to make good on that now. Been seeing that film for a while now. It was a fascinating watch. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed their emotions was masterful. When the main character left everything behind to go on a journey, that really struck a chord with me. <sighs> and then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Say, have you ever thought of running away to a place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are? I see. So you feel that way too sometimes. I'm not saying I wish to leave everything behind. It's just that every now and then, the things that matter are the very things that hold you back. The future of the company, the weight of my responsibilities. Sometimes I even wish that I wasn't shackled by the Kirijo family name. <sighs> I know. I understand that I can't afford to think this way. Listen to me complaining like this. How pathetic. Talking to you has become something of an outlet for me. I'm sure you're sick of it by now. That's very kind of you. The offer is quite tempting. I hope you know what you're getting into. While we're on the topic, there's something I'd like to ask you. <sighs> Hypothetically, let's say that I was interested in someone right now. I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't help but harbor these feelings. Would that be wrong? Uh, keep in mind, this is a what-if scenario. To me. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, Mitsuru! I've been looking all over for you. So this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Uh, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. <sighs> Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Honestly, I thought you understood our arrangement. If you're going to be my future wife, you'll need to learn some obedience. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. I imagine you feel the same. <laughs> You say that. Thank you. Who the hell are you? 
This is none of your business. Get lost. Come on, Mitsuru. You know how this works. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, you're still going to need my knowledge and experience. And the Kirijo group still needs the cooperation of my company. Doesn't it? <sighs> yes. Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. All right. I wish you hadn't seen that. Thank you for today. It was quite fun. I'm sorry. Really. Please excuse me. It's all right. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Come on, Mitsuru. Hurry up. By the way, you, who do you think you are worming your way into her favor? You ought to know your place in society. A commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a world of difference between you and us. Mitsuru, take care not to associate with his kind anymore. Enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough! I won't let you insult him! What? Why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you insult him, you insult me! M Mitsuru? What are you saying? You would side with him over me? You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Well, you're right. You can't compare to him at all. He stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. I... I... I want to be with him. Now... And forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? What are you trying to say? You're supposed to be my fiancé! Are you implying I'm beneath this nobody? Take that back this instant, Mitsuru! It's not too late to ask for forgiveness. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today, we'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! I don't want to see your face ever again! <sighs> Grandpa! Grandpa! I... I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. This is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. What am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. Oh, so it did. 
When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but every time I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. <sighs> Here goes. I... I... I'm going to die of embarrassment. <gasps> you... love me too? <laughs> I... I'm so happy to hear that. Or should I say, I'm thankful? <sighs> My heart... <sighs> At this rate, it's going to end up like last time. It really is wonderful, though, to know that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to open my heart. As of today, you're more than just a friend to me. That said, given my situation, I can't go public about this just yet. about this for a while now, but the way you address me. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. You're on a first name basis with me while I've been sticking to formalities. It's a bit unbalanced. All right, I've decided. But from now on, when it's just the two of us, I'll call you by your first name. It's going to be a bit awkward for me, but trust that this is what I want. In any case, today marks a change. I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. Ugh, look at all these things you're making me say. You'd better take responsibility for this.
I know what you want to say. Our maid staff assisted with the furnishings. I recognize it's a bit beyond standard for a dorm room. It's almost like a second lounge, isn't it? <laughs> Yukari says that to me all the time. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I want you to have this. It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. I don't have to think of my motorcycle as a means of escaping my feelings. Though I do regret that I won't be riding it as often anymore. I'd rather ride with you. Of course, you'll have to sit on the back until you get your license. When this is all over, I'll teach you how to ride yourself. I'll be looking forward to it. Please do, but remember to be careful. <sighs> it's still a bit embarrassing to call you by your first name. But when we're alone, no one else can hear me. Your name is more than just a name to me. It's something special. If I were in danger, it would be my last desperate call for help. <sighs> right. So, um, I... I want to be with you tonight. Will you stay with me? I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Empress Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Empress within thyself. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Hold on to this. If you could come to the Velvet Room, there is a matter I would like to discuss with you. Goodbye now. I apologize for asking you to come at such short notice. Truth be told, I'd like to ask you a favor. I've been searching for someone of exceptional ability. So if you have the time, 
Do you mind taking on several of my requests? On special occasions, I may require you to escort me on certain excursions. Of course, you will be aptly rewarded for completing the request. I look forward to your cooperation and hope to see you demonstrate your capability. Good day. I'm looking forward to it. Good day. I've been waiting for you. Oh my! An encounter with one of your world's exquisite treasures. Right out of the blue. So this is the fountain. It makes sport of water, a precious resource, and the very foundation of life. Such a sinful form of art. I've heard of its mystical powers, wherein those who offer coin may have their wishes granted. Then I must try my hand at this. Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a hefty sum of coins. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. I shall make an opening bid of 1 million yen. Oh! I was so caught up in the excitement that I started tossing coins without giving my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. What is this facility here? I see there's a gentleman inside with quite a stern face. And these photographs displayed so prominently, most wanted. Reward? Hmm. Would it be correct to presume that these are your version of my subjugation requests? What do they use as proof that the target has been subjugated? If they truly parallel my requests, then do they require a piece of the body? My interest has been piqued. This edifice over here, is this what you call a club, dancers? Dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden, flourishing with uninhibited desires. <gasps> oh no! It's closed right now? Oh, what a pity! I had hoped to become part of the scene. Satisfying, but I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you don't mind, could you perhaps recommend our next activity? Karaoke. Oh, could it be? It appears the time has come to demonstrate my hidden talents. One may even challenge professional singers at the touch of a button at this karaoke. <gasps> uh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? I hadn't noticed there was a fountain on this side as well. Oh, yet another fountain. On the opposite side, I see. So this place plays host to a trinity of fountain spirits. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Now then, 
I shall perform a song of exultation for my master. Sing along if you will. La, la, la. Oh, my. You've never heard this song before? Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission a complete success. This may sound forward, but I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. A shame. Marvelous. Good day. I shall be waiting then. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. I've been waiting for you. Glowing stairs that pose an obstacle to those who dare to reach another floor. So, this is an escalator. A simple contraption at first glance. But one false step will leave one mired in an exhausting ordeal. To all customers, for your own safety and the safety of others, please do not move in the opposite direction of the escalators. Thank you. Oh my! It seems that these customers may come to harm. We'd best exercise caution ourselves. And what is this? Please watch your step. There is a pitfall just ahead. Why, it's right over here. There, in the center of this fenced-off area, it's marked with eye-catching signs, proclaiming in bold print, Do not enter. Humans are frequently drawn to what has been forbidden. This is a crafty snare, one that defies the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Flowing stairways, pitfalls employing high-level psychological tactics, Human authorities truly go to great lengths in their quest to preserve the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their dedication to the cause. Let us carry on. Our thoughts with the unsung heroes who give their love and lives to this town. Oh, this tantalizing fragrance. Can it be? You can figure out our secret ingredient with just a whiff? I guess you got a funky sense of smell to go with your funky sense of style, lady. Well, there ain't a law saying takoyaki shops can't cook other stuff besides octopus. So, how about it? Wanna buy some? I swear my takoyaki's so good it'll make your jaw drop. Cuisine so scrumptious that one's jaw can drop off? I imagine that would warrant urgent medical care, realistically speaking. But I would very much like a taste. Unfortunately, this is all I have on me at the moment. I do hope this is sufficient. No need to console me. My curiosity far exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, a single serving is only 400 yen. Well then, two orders of your finest takoyaki, please. Thanks. Here you go, and come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy skin. There's no doubt about it. I must say, 
I'm surprised to see this used as a cooking ingredient. It has yet to even unhinge. But for the better, I suppose. There are many other delicacies I must try. It wouldn't do to lose my jaw before sampling each and every one of them. There appear to be several dining establishments around here. We must simply visit all of them. My first priority is to go to something called a net cafe, where one may use something called a soda fountain. This apparatus allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various solutions. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. <sighs> I see. My, oh my. Oh, how intriguing. We appear to have exhausted every dining option in this area. Oh dear, is something the matter? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. In any event, I must thank you for your delightful company. I shall certainly savor this experience. If you don't mind, I'd very much appreciate it if you were to escort me again sometime. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Marvelous. <laughs> Good day. I shall be waiting then. I've been waiting for you. So this is a shrine. It's quite similar to a temple, is it not? A mysterious presence lurks here, though it is markedly different from a shadow. Well then, I shall first observe the local traditions and pay my respects. I wonder if this is enough. a problem? I'd heard that the effects of this mystical divine grace were proportional to the amount offered. In any event, I have finished presenting my offering. Come to think of it, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the fountain. There are a great many locations in your world where supplicants may request good fortune. You live in a truly wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be... Just as I thought, these are paper fortunes. I've heard of this game. People entrust their destiny to a slip of paper, finding the risk far too exhilarating. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining every single variation. Excuse me. I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what is that equipment over there? If memory serves, these are a slide and a jungle gem, correct? I see, in the presence of a true god, upholding a pretense of gravitas is all but meaningless. What a magnanimous and introspective message. If that is the case... Fascinating. In order to attain joy, one must first claw one's way to the very top. This playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. Oh, my. I'm very sorry. 
But could you please teach me how to use this equipment properly? It would be wonderful if you could start with the jungle gem over here. I can't get out. Oh dear, it's rather difficult to maintain one's balance. Today was even more enjoyable than our other outings thus far. Hmm. To be honest, lately I've been wondering, do I find this world enjoyable? simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents. Or another possibility. Perhaps I enjoy myself on these excursions because of your company. In any event, I believe I'll have to negotiate with my master to install a horizontal bar in our room. I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime, if you wouldn't mind. Well then, I suppose we should call it a day. But before we do, I'd like to go on the slide one more time. Shall we seize the opportunity and go in tandem? Ooh! Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. to think of it. Good day. I shall be waiting then. Marvelous. I'm looking forward. I've been waiting for you. Gakukan High School, a place of learning. It's quite a shock that such a warm, illustrious institution transforms into Tartarus every night. You know oh dear, what a conundrum. Everyone here seems to have a predetermined form of attire. I fear I may draw too much attention. I hope this won't pose a problem. Understood. I shall heed your advice. Now then, excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. Hmm. If I stay hidden from view this way, then there won't be a problem, correct? Now then, the school awaits. This is a pleasant surprise. To think there would be a bastion of commerce within a house of academia. Could you please wait here for a moment? There's something I've been curious about for a while. Excuse me, I would like to purchase a school lunch. Um, sorry? would have liked a taste of this school lunch, as it is a rare delicacy only served in select facilities. But I've heard that having bread for lunch is also part of the school experience. That will be a fine substitute. Now that I've checked that off the list, let us proceed. As for where I'd like to go next, shall we visit your home room? So this is a classroom. With so many students and desks, it's no wonder there's hardly any space between them. But perhaps... Ah, I see. It's designed this way to foster a sense of harmony between classmates. I can sense the care put into this arrangement. This observation post must be what they call a podium. Hmm, interesting. When I stand here, I do feel a longing to teach well up inside of me. <gasps> First question. 
between diet food and super diet food, which is more delicious? That is incorrect. As a penalty for giving the wrong answer, you shall receive your own portion of diet food. <laughs> is this what a classroom lecture is like? The quizzical stares are beginning to make me feel unsettled. Let us carry on with the tour. This humanoid figure... Did they seal him inside the plaster to prevent him from escaping? I imagine it would be quite cramped in there. Truth be told, I do have some experience playing the piano. Are you familiar with the Velvet Song? Velvet, oh Velvet, my master. now ah! Experiencing student life for myself today has broadened my perspective of your world. I'd very much appreciate it if you could accompany me again sometime. Ah. To be honest, I don't entirely understand my own motives for coming here, but as I walked closely with you, I... How should I express this? I felt very fulfilled, perhaps. What I really wanted to learn at school was more about you. But why? In any case, discovering the reason for this desire will surely serve as an intriguing diversion. Let us return now. Thank you once again for acting as my guide. I believe a request has expired. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Well, perhaps another... Good day. Here are my requ... Let's hear the result. House. I will await a report. Very well. Good day. I shall be waiting then. I've been waiting for you. So, this is your current domicile, the student dormitory. So this is your room. I've never seen many of these items before. If I might be permitted to ask, when I made the request to visit your room, did it make you a little suspicious? I see. In truth, there is something I wanted to tell you. During my forays into your world, I encountered a great many things. Every single one of our outings is a treasured memory. Each one a polished, glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even visiting your school for a day. And I came to a realization. I had been subconsciously requesting to visit locations that were more and more central to your life. And today, I endeavored to visit the one place in your world where I could learn the most about you. That is the reason as to why I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold, do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? 
there was a moment where I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. It was the first time I'd ever felt that way. I thought to myself, why did I feel so fulfilled? But after coming all the way here, I finally found my answer. I believe it's because I had the chance to walk in your shoes. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for our guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason for being. When I'm together with you, I can have that all for myself. Let me put it more plainly. I'm rather naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times when I behaved quite strangely. However, even I understand the significance of inviting a gentleman into his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love for you to guide me through it. Thank you. feel as if I've become an entirely different person compared to when I first set foot in your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. But I understand that wouldn't be ideal for you. That is why I am drawing the line. No more visits here. I shall remain on my side. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I am truly grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. Here are my requests. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Of course. You have my thanks. to you. I heard they have some pretty nice decorations and lights there. Wow! This place looks so different from how it usually does. Colonial Mall. Oh, this is so exciting. Let's go. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's kind of cold. Maybe we should stick close together. Oh, look. Oh, that looks pretty, too. That was so nice. There were couples around everywhere, huh? Oh yeah, before I forget. <laughs> this is a little embarrassing, but... It's supposed to work really well. My grandma taught me how to make it a long time ago. The weather is a lot colder now, so be sure to take care of yourself. This really makes my Christmas. 
Christmas time is pretty magical, don't you think? Honestly, I didn't think much of it up until last year. It was just another yearly event to me. We'd have Christmas cake and chicken as a family, and then we'd exchange presents. When I'd wake up and find the presents next to my pillow, I'd always shout, Santa really came! It was fun back then, sure, but this year, it's fun in a different way. Hmm. Ooh, is it just me or did it get hot all of a sudden? I, I wouldn't want to sweat and catch a cold. <laughs> Can I move closer to you? So I don't get too cold. Time passed by so quickly. I don't want to go home yet. Oh, I wish we could just stay here. Just kidding. Besides, we have school tomorrow. Just because we're in our school uniforms doesn't mean we can stay here all night, right? So I guess we gotta go home. Or do we? Shall we get going? We don't have all night, you know. There's still a curfew. Hey, let's go to Polonia Mall. I hear they're gonna have lights up. Everything must feel so different under that kind of atmosphere. To be honest, I've been looking forward to it. designer for these decorations? Here, I have a present for you. It's been a while since I've made something like this. I hope it tastes all right. Got a present for me? Well, it's the thought that counts. Honestly, when I first met you, I never thought we'd end up spending Christmas together like this. I was just so used to being all on my own. I'm only gonna tell you this because it's a special day, but I actually always dreamed of doing something like this. I know that with everything going on, it's not exactly the time to be getting all warm and fuzzy. But one night couldn't hurt, right? Just for today. I want to be by your side. the only one staying out late on a day like this, right? Except for Junpei, I guess. I can't imagine him having a romantic evening out. Ugh, sorry, that isn't the point. I just want to stay with you a little longer. Hey, are you cold? It's chilly, right? Can I come closer? Hoping you could keep me warm, maybe. Are you ready to go? 
Sorry if it sounds like I'm rushing you. I'm just nervous because I'm not used to stuff like this. But really, it doesn't matter to me where we go, as long as we're together. And they're so elaborate, too. Oh, over there! Those trees are made entirely of lights. They're so beautiful. <sighs> it's a bit chilly, but I'm really glad we came. Um, it's just such a wonderful night, isn't it? Should we go inside? It's getting a little cold out here. I don't want you to catch a cold. I'm having such a good time today. It's like a dream. I've come through here so many times before, but today it feels special. Oh, that's right. Um... These are for you. I was thinking of you when I made them. I was originally planning to bake a cake in the spirit of Christmas, but I'm not that good at baking yet, and I didn't want it to taste bad. But I think you'll really like these. Tonight, huh? Kirijo Senpai said she didn't think everyone would be back in time. Um, I'm not boring you, am I? I know this is a special night you're choosing to spend with me. Oh, sorry. Was that rude? I, I don't know what I'm saying. This is the first time I've ever done this for Christmas, so I think I'm just nervous. But really, I'm so happy to spend this night with you. I'll never forget it. Thank you for everything. Honestly, I feel like I rely on you so much. And not just because you're a leader. I mean for me, personally, because I, I love... Ah, uh, um, I mean, uh, sorry about that. <sighs> so, what should we do after this? We still have some time left. and decorations there are absolutely beautiful. How wonderful. It's like we stepped into a novel. Yes, look at how those lights sparkle. Oh, and the decorations are so 
pretty. Wow, there are more decorations over there, too. Since we're here, should we have a look around? Thank you for such a memorable night. Uh, um, I... Um, I figured today was a special day, so I made this for you. It was my first time making something like this, so it's not perfect. But please, um, I hope you'll think of me when you use it. A Christmas present? For me? Um, thank you, Senpai. That was very thoughtful of you. Um, the truth is, I... I've been nervous since this morning. Today is Christmas Eve, so it's a special day for couples. And this is, um, the first time I'm spending Christmas with a... a boyfriend. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> You look as calm as ever, Senpai. I'm reminded again of how lucky I am to be here right now with the one I love. <sighs> Christmas. What a beautiful season. so late. I hope we don't get in trouble with the police. The station is right over there. I don't really mind, though. I just want to be with you for a little longer. When I'm with you, I'm nervous. I'm comfortable, too. I don't know what to think. All I know is that I adore the time we spend together. But, um, it's not just the time we spend together. It's also your face, your fingers, your smell. It's everything. <sighs> Don't make me say it. <sighs> oh, you. invite anyone else, did you? Wait, what am I saying? Sorry, I'm having some trouble remaining calm. I'll let you decide where we should go. accustomed to Christmas decorations by now, but for some reason they look especially beautiful today. Uh, hey, don't tease me. Well, shall we stroll around for a bit? Even a simple walk with you is quite pleasant. No manner of extravagant party could offer an experience like this. Here, I'd like you to have something. special order for you. My hope is we take some time to enjoy it together, once things have settled down. I'm glad I was able to give this to you today. Thank you. You prepared a gift for me. Oh, wow. Do you have a persona that can read minds? Thank you. This is a gift I'll always remember.
For once, I feel... calm. Like I'm finally at peace. I should probably let you know. When I see you enjoying yourself with Yukari or the others, I get... restless. But at the same time, it's a pleasure to be reminded of these feelings I have. In all honesty, I never thought I'd be allowed to be this happy. already gotten so late. When I'm with you, I sometimes find myself wishing for the clock to stop moving. What a peculiar feeling. Could it be... Uh... Um, sorry. I was just talking to myself. It's nothing. Come on, don't look at me like that. I'm going to see how flush my face is. This place is awfully bright. Do you mind if we go somewhere else? about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Holy hell, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Oh, man, this is insane. If we nail this, it'll blow our failures out of the water. How about this time, we try going one by one instead of all together. All right, I'm in. Okay, and let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors! Oh yeah! I win! Okay, I'll go first, Sonata Sonata second, and you'll go last. Here goes! Uh, hey. I notice you've been, uh, staring at the ocean. So, um, you here with anyone? My name's Jujunpei. Jujunpei? <clears throat> um, I was just wondering if you'd be down to talk. If you're not busy. I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, right? I am looking for someone. Uh, oh yeah? You are not that someone. Wow. You got shot down faster than I expected. She's a tough one, Senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh, hey. Do you like the... Uh, motion? Is your question directed at me? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I like the ocean. I, uh, you know, I heard something interesting about triathletes who train at indoor pools. Apparently, they get outperformed by athletes who train in the ocean. That information is irrelevant to me. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> well, I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her! <sighs> this sucks. 
I could cry. Hey, don't cry. Oh, you're making me feel bad. Well, that's where we are. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. We're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. It's all up to you now. Evasive maneuver. Confirmation must be made at a secure location. Hey! What did you say to make her run away like that? Well, what are you waiting for? Go after her! This could turn into serious trouble. You gotta go tell her you're sorry. If you don't, we'll get all the blame. Go on, and catch her if you hurry. I was correct. I have found you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be at your side. What? Are you freaking kidding me? What's going on? He didn't even say anything to her. There you guys are. What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um... What are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Who's this? And why is she hugging you? Listen, we have a slight situation here. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need everyone to go back to the house and gear up. Ah, uh, that won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Mr. Chairman, what do you mean? <laughs> you had me worried. You can't just leave the lab on your own, I guess. Understood. What happened to securing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. I guess, join us over here. Understood. This is I guess. As you can see, she's a machine with the form and face of a human girl. I am I guess. My objective is to exterminate shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. No way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. How can a robot be this cute? What a cruel world. Ten years ago, a plan was enacted to create anti-shadow weapons. A contingency in the event a shadow became unmanageable. Igis was the last one to be made. And she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she has a persona too? Correct. I am capable of wielding the persona called Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat her first year out, and she's been kept in the lab ever since. I'm still not sure as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. In any case, I hope you'll all get along. An anti-shadow weapon, possessing a will all her own. This is amazing! Uh, if you don't mind me asking, when we first saw you earlier, you were, uh, hugging our leader. Do you know him? Yes. It is very important for me to be by his side. Hmm. 
Maybe her facial recognition system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. Very interesting. Hmm. Half asleep? Well, I can ponder this later. Anyhow, I forgot to mention. Did you know there are a wide range of recreational facilities you can use here? There's a tennis court, a pool table, and even a karaoke machine. Would anyone care to hear me sing? Uh... It's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain too much. We went through a hell of a lot here. Yeah, like hearing you and the chairman singing. I barely got any sleep last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Yes, I am informed of the concept. Recreation is sustenance for one's mental well-being. Yeah, exactly! Wow, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Uh, wait. Junpei-kun, is it okay for I guess to go in the water? I'm sure she's fine. Oh, are you done already? It is best that everyone partake in this activity together. Deriving enjoyment alone is not the optimal method to have fun. <laughs> You've got some strong feelings on pretty weird things, don't you? But what the heck, might as well. We should join them. <laughs> Agreed. Enjoying yourselves. Quite a lot's happened during our time here, but it looks like we'll get to relax a bit today. <laughs> that would be nice. Sonata son! What are you doing? Come on, it's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> Glad to see everyone's having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship is arriving tomorrow, right? I'll probably head over to the port early. So don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back to business once we've returned to the dorm. You have successfully awakened. Mission complete. It has not triggered yet. Five minutes early is on time. That is the phrase posted on the wall. So I woke you five minutes before your alarm clock engages. can't find her anywhere. Can you help us? She might have gone out on her own like she did in Yakushima. My name is not that girl. Please address me as I guess. Huh? I guess? When did you... I entered while he was asleep. Unlocking the door took two minutes. Unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I determined that it is ideal to be on standby in this room. Is this a problem? What? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, I will address it promptly. The problem? Well, it's probably against dorm regulations for one. Look, don't just stand there. Tell her. You know she's not allowed in here. Okay, look. I'll get a room set up for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Just don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. Yeah, okay. I'm tired. All right, well, 
I have practice this morning, so I gotta get to school. Everyone here goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. It looks rather busy. I guess, be sure not to stray too far from us. Are my words even registering to you? I see. So you wish to restrain me. Be warned that my ability to jettison my hand from my wrist would make holding it a poor method of restraint. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? This aroma... This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. Coming right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? Temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. What are those? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. <sighs> Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. I look forward to that. Hey there, ladies! Wanna try your hand in a lucky draw? Make some nice memories? What do you say? Lots of looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! I have won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in combat against the shadows? Here. Let's trade. In exchange, I'll give you these marbles I won. They're beautiful. Don't you agree? Well, I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. By the way... Yes. Oh, very puzzling. The plants seem much livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them? Good idea. I'll give it a try. Hello? Hello? This is Igis. 
If you can hear me, plants, then please respond. Unfortunately, there was no answer. Communication will be difficult with my current abilities. This is something to consider for the future. I had some prior knowledge of plants, but this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth can morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? How fascinating. I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. This took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. It's gotten late. We should head back now. Excuse me. to be less damage from pests than the data in my prediction suggests. We haven't taken any specific measures against them. What is the cause of this? Oh, this is... Look, I've sighted a ladybug larva. It's very small and adorable. No, we mustn't. Ladybugs are the natural predators of pests that damage plants. This must be the reason why they've been growing so well. Even in just these tiny planters, there is so much life. There's no one to teach them. They're just doing the best they can. Hmm. My apologies. I got distracted. Let's keep working. Excuse me. Please apply the repellent on that end. Pests deserve no mercy. Status reads all green. No problems to report. That concludes our mission for today. We should head back now. Oh, there he is. Whew. That does it for our first day back. Well, you two have perfect timing. Perfect timing? For what? Hey, Fuka! Is Igus ready? Um, what do you think? This is how I look now. Huh? Why is she wearing a school uniform? What's going on here? She said she wanted to go to school with us, so I told the others as a joke. But the chairman actually agreed, so now she's gonna start as a second year tomorrow. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, if he's cool with it, then I guess it's all right. Besides, I'd say it looks pretty good on her. Maybe even... The school camouflage that Fuka-san provided is more than appropriate. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why do you want to go to school? It's not like it's interesting. As the second semester commences, I intend to synchronize my schedule with everyone for maximum efficiency. If I remain here on standby, it could affect our deployment efficiency. To accommodate, I requested reassignment alongside our squad leader. Deployment efficiency, huh? Why do I feel like you being at school would make that even worse? I will make any necessary adaptations as the situation evolves. Uh, sure, you do that. He says, I want to go to school too. For tomorrow. No, you definitely have to stay here, okay? Class, we have another new transfer student joining us today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis, son? I've never heard a name like that. 
Maybe she's a foreigner. Let's see, anything else I should know? Hmm? Humanoid tactical weapon. What? Yeah, clearly that's a mistake. It just goes to show you can't believe everything you read. Yeah! You got that right! Let's see, you can sit, um... Are there any open seats? Oh, there's a spot right next to him. Okay, off you go. Uh, Miss Toriyumi, someone already sits there. He just ditched today. Which means he's not here. So now it's yours. All right, take your seat. The spot is perfect. My highest priority is to be with him at all times. I guess... What is it? Uh, Yukari, why do you stand up? Uh, why? Uh... Good to see everyone's getting along so well. But do me a favor and save the drama for after class. Give me a break. Hello there. In this scene, the main character says, that ass better not crack under pressure. Usually, people's asses are already cracked. Yours is as well, right? I understand. But please tell me someday. For now, I will put the question on hold. Currently, this is the only section that I am unclear on. But I suspect that if I continue reading, I will encounter even more confusing phrases. If you don't mind, could I ask you to read with me until the end? Thank you very much. With your help, I've been able to update my records with new information. Apparently, this book has a sequel. If it is possible, I would like to read with you again sometime. It's gotten rather late. We should head back to our rooms. Or should I say, our turfs. Excuse me. Reminds me, I was reading this book during class once. One of our classmates saw and said to me, Wow, I'm surprised. So you're the type to talk with your fists. What exactly do I look like to everyone else? Cute. From what I understand, that term is used to describe small animals. Are you saying that I'm also being placed into that category? I am an anti-shadow weapon, but I don't seem to be regarded as such. I must correct this problem at once. If it is not addressed, it could negatively impact my ability to carry out my duties. Once I finish reading, I will start thinking of a solution. During combat, the mental states of both sides play a significant role in the outcome. I want my presence to strike fear in the hearts of my enemies, but galvanize my allies as well. What can I do to convey that kind of impression? Ideally, it would be something to encourage people to depend on me. Maybe I can find some tips in this book. is enough reading for now. We should return to our rooms. Yes. I'm 
going to upgrade my outer appearance. First, I will triple the current surface area of my armor plating. After that, I will repaint my body gold and add a large dragon to my back. Don't you think? I'm pleased to hear that you agree. Are you thinking of getting upgraded yourself? Outer appearances carry an influence that is beyond my ability to calculate. The main character of this story also carefully cultivated his image so everyone would take him seriously. That is why I'm looking into upgrading myself. In order for me to become more dependable, it's necessary I change my appearance. Don't you agree? Are you saying there's something else which takes greater priority? Oh, could it be? I apologize. Please forget what I said about upgrading my appearance. It seems I had the completely wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says, Can't have people think I ain't cool. Until then, he'd put so much effort into his attire, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. Thanks to you, I finally understand. What's most important in life is having a strong heart to stay true to your beliefs. Therefore, I will also follow what I believe in. I may not appear dependable, but don't worry. I will adjust my attitude to reach maximum energy output and to increase my ammo stocks by 50%. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Shall we conduct a raid? Oh, it's gotten so late. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to go tonight. Oh, unfortunate. I'll just return to my room then. Yes. It appears they are growing well. Hip hip hooray, as they say. The ladybug has grown into a fine adult as well. I believe this is mission complete. Well done. I tried to do everything in my power. I'm glad I was of service. The ladybug put in a lot of work as well. We thank you for your service. I've realized something tending these plants alongside you. I've made many new discoveries beside these planters. Everyone is doing the best they can to make their way in the world. That goes for the plants, and the pests, and the ladybug too, and you as well. I may be a machine, but I also want to do the best I can. I will do my best to make my way in the world, just like everyone else. That is my new goal from now on. I am impressed. I hadn't expected a competition here. Hearing that, my motivation is fully charged, as they say. Naturally, I will still continue to look after them at full throttle. Let's get started right away. Ikutsuki-san. I guess? What are you doing here? <sighs> She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? Ikutsuki-san! What are you trying to pull? You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why? What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the Shadows, getting rid of the Dark Hour. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Kirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. 
No. You tricked us? It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death, the Almighty, shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you saying? Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? You see, I too was a scientist on the project ten years ago. The experiment did go awry, but that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many shadows. To initiate the fall. That can't be. Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The attempt years ago failed, but the time has come at last. I am that prince. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you, but all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer, and you too will find salvation. Find it how? By dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad, he said the shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie, too? Ah, uh, that was in fact his recording. Of course, I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. He didn't know me at the time. But I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the Fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. So you were behind it all? You used my dad! And me too! Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you? <sighs> I was hoping you'd be able to see the light. But you are just kids, after all. Maybe my expectations were too high. I guess it's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. Guess what's wrong? I guess please engaging.
What's going on here? What the hell? What is this? Damn it! I can't get these off! Father! Ikutsuki, what is the meaning of this? It's exactly what it looks like. They are our sacrifices. Harbingers of the fall. All the pieces are in place. And now, the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? Bastard! You're full of shit! My, my, how lively. I guess... Affirmative. Father! You traitor! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. You fool. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. What are you doing, I guess? I. I. Fine, I'll do it myself. Ten years. I've wasted ten long years. I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions. A machine? I'll do it! <laughs> it's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this is to start over! <laughs> Yes, I was chosen. I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> what a shame. I was so close. <laughs>
<laughs> How did it come to this? Ikutsuki san! Father! Father! <laughs> Father! My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger, even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I became a Persona user so I could protect him. <laughs> was that real? Why was he? To see Junpei. It... But the rules state that this. Yeah, but Grijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stayed. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. But having him around has really helped cheer you. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? That's true. Hmm? I'm fine. I'm a machine. So I don't understand. Really? But you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm up. There are times when I malfunction. Well, if we were all like you. Uh, I don't have time to talk. Serves me right for slacking. Junpei is stunning? The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why, but I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs, to be there for you always. Ah, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird. And there's no one around. <sighs> Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You. You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. Uh... I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are... my enemy. Your... enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was... A long time ago. Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who... am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you... Your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow? I was born, I stood on this 
very bridge. My sole purpose was to destroy shadows. That is the reason why I was given both a sense of self and a persona. I am the bearer of the 13th Arcana. Everyone knew me as death. But when I came into being, a part of my power was broken off and scattered. I wasn't at my full strength back then. I was incomplete. Even so, your power was still far too great. Remember who I am, who he is. Leader, I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... What is going on? It's... all my fault. W you did this?! Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out, I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Appraiser, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Appraiser? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows, and about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. His 
maternal being. What is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igis took me down, and I returned the favor. Igis? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him, and by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. his persona awakened, the Twelve Shadows did as well, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside of him? Who the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's all my fault. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. Igus needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. I've returned, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, it's good to see you. It's been a whole month, you know? I was getting nervous. Me too. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. I'm just a machine. I can always be rebuilt, even if I'm completely destroyed. My programming data would still exist. Come on, don't talk about yourself like that. I was told she'd need another week for a complete recovery, but I had the work expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me while I was at the lab. I heard what happened. You've all been through so much. Have you been well? Well... Given the circumstances, I'd assume not. Really, that's a relief to hear. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> but if I hadn't done what I did to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. As for what Ryoji-kun said, have you already made your decision? I have a favor to ask. Tomorrow, when Ryoji-kun comes back... Please, kill him! I can't bear to see you all suffer like this! If you're in this much pain, I beg you, choose to surrender your memories! Even if... Even if it means forgetting everything, and everyone. I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. This is not like you. <sighs> what is it, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My duty is to protect people from shadows. But now, it's clear that I can't defeat them. What am I even doing here? No matter how hard I try, I can't even shed a tear for you. I guess. Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? Why risk everything when it will only lead to suffering? You're all just throwing away your lives! I don't understand. We're not throwing away our lives. In fact, our eyes are set on the future. Isn't that right? Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's because I lack a life of my own. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine created to protect humans from shadows. 
that I can't carry out that duty with the power I have. So what is my purpose now? I just don't know, and no one can give me an answer. Well, yeah, you don't have the answers. The meaning of life or death isn't something someone else can just teach you. Making your own decisions is hard, no matter who you are. No choice is perfect, you know? But as long as we're alive, we gotta do something. When you see someone going through the same thing you're going through, you just want to help them. That's how we plan on getting through this. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best explanation, but that's the idea. That's... the idea? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you, I guess. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you'll lose sight of your purpose, and you'll have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then what you need is to seek out a new purpose. I'm not really one to talk, but I feel like I've learned something important this year. To truly live is to be willing to change. And we have to make those choices for ourselves. Do you think I'll be able to change too? You have changed so much. Haven't you noticed? You've even started speaking like a real human. I understand what my purpose is now. I'm a machine with the directive to live. And the one issuing this new command is me. I'll stare fear in the face and choose to live. This is the promise I've made to myself. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but perhaps that's a part of living too. Yeah, it sure is. allow me to join you in this fight? You kidding? Of course! You've always been one of us. Thank you. From now on, I stand with all of you, no matter what happens. Yeah! Um... Excuse me. That's great! I find myself coming here a lot lately. Before, I couldn't understand the benefits of coming to these shrines. But lately, that's changed. This is also where we met Koromaru-san last summer. He waited here until we found him, even though he knew his master had died. I can understand why now. What drives people isn't necessarily facts, but feelings. He knew for a fact that his master had died. But his feelings of wanting to be with him made him stay. I feel the same. I recognized the fact that I can't protect you. But I came back anyway. Subconsciously, I was acting based on my emotions rather than logic. I was so confused at the time that I didn't notice it. But it's true. The parameters governing my behavior seem to have been updated during my time with you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessings when thou choosest. To create a persona of the Eon Arcana. Oh, I misspoke. 
I mentioned what drives people. But of course, Koromaro-san and myself aren't people. <laughs> Sorry. Here. The Moonlight Bridge is to the right, and over there is Polonia Mall. Oh, and did you know you can also see our dorm from here? Back in Yakushima, where I'd been sleeping, the ocean waters were much clearer than they are here. But I prefer the view here. Hmm. Before I came here, I didn't even think about whether I liked the scenery or not. What about you? Do you like it here? I'm so glad to hear that. <sighs> Feeling the same way? Watching the same scenery? It's nice. I began to feel emotions towards various things that I hadn't felt before. It's a little scary sometimes. <sighs> but if I can change by being with you, then I want to cherish these feelings. Oh, I'm sorry to have gone on for so long. It's still January, so the winds can get quite chilly up here. It would be awful if you caught a cold. See at the shrine. What's wrong? <laughs> what? Koromaro san? You think we what? Wait, we aren't mistreating Koromaro san. It's true that he's been helping us in our battles, but. What? No. Oh, um, these are Koromaro san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaro san, since he's been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? This is all a misunderstanding, everyone. Please, don't be angry. Just calm down. I'm so sorry. My hand is hard. <coughs> I see. No wonder they're suspicious of me. My body is completely unnatural to them. I hope that dog isn't hurt. I've been thinking lately. No matter how human my heart becomes, my body will always remain a machine. Of course, it's obvious when you think about it, that I'm not strong enough to be a weapon, and I'm too stiff to pass as a human. There's nowhere I truly belong. I'm neither completely machine, nor quite human. <sighs> It. I have to be true to myself. Hmm. Sorry for bringing all of this up. If I hadn't been created, I never would have met everyone. And that includes you. 
If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. I know that. <laughs> I should make sure that Koromaru-san's friends understand our situation. I don't want you to end up in danger again. I'll see you later. Excuse me. Thank you very much! I trouble you for a moment? Have you seen a kitty cat around here? She's a precious little white spotted cat named Michan. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's getting on in her years, like me, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white-spotted cat. Did you see one? Oh, I see. I've been so worried. I hope my little Michan is eating all right. Thank you for your help. I'll try looking elsewhere. White spotted cat named Michan. If you don't mind, could we help her look? Being separated from a loved one can be very distressing after all. Yes! Um, what's the phrase usually used in situations like these? What goes around, comes around to hit you in the back of the head. That's it! She might be so hungry, she could eat a house. Was it hungry as a house? In any case, we should hurry. readings like shadows. But when it comes to this, I'm useless, aren't I? And I was the one who insisted we search. I'm sorry. It's not working out. After all, how could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person? <sighs> It's getting dark. We should probably give up the search for today. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you took the time to indulge me in this. I'll be going back alone today. I need some time to think. I'm sorry. After you invited me out, too. Than you used to be. This little one is all I have left to keep me company. I was so lonely when Michan was missing. I don't know how I can thank the both of you. 
Lonely is being by oneself lonely. Oh, yes, dear. When you get to be my age, you'll find that all the wealth in the world won't take care of you. No one can truly live alone. Some of my neighbors have delightful children, but oh, oh, they aren't interested in old ladies like me. Miss. Well, Michan, shall we go home? Thank you so much, you two. It seems that living is something that can't be done alone. Yes, it's important to keep someone in your thoughts and to know that you are in theirs. To be able to contact them anytime and to touch them. But I do understand one thing. It seems I feel happy when I'm together with you. wonder if living means to be able to connect with other people. How close to that goal can I come with a body like mine? Hmm. Just kidding. I've been exceedingly negative lately. I wonder what's wrong with me. We should start heading back. Oh. Thank you very much. Michan san's owner. Hey, Granny! I got a date tomorrow, but uh, I don't have any money or anything, you know? Oh my, is that so? Oh, you poor thing. You've always been such a good boy, Kyoshi. This advance on your allowance will just be between you and me. Come on, quit it! I told you not to call me Kiyoshi! But it's such a beautiful name. I picked it out myself, you know. It was the name of a fine doctor from my home village. Yeah, I know, I've heard. Come on, hook me up already! Oh, yes, yes. It's not much. Try not to spend it all in one place. Sweet, thanks. See ya! Be careful, and visit again soon. I have something I want to ask that Kiyoshi-san. Kiyoshi-san, please wait. Hey, don't call me that... Uh, uh, Aika senpai do you know me? Well, yeah. You're famous. Uh, I'm uh, Kiyoshi Sakuma. I'm a first year. Everyone calls me Joe, I guess, Senpai, so you can just. I would like to ask you something, Kiyoshi san. Do you mind? Uh, uh, sure. Kiyoshi san, do you feel lonely when you are by yourself? Huh? What? Your grandmother said that she's lonely because she has nobody else. What is this, a lecture? No, I just want to know. Why don't you visit your grandmother more often? If you are her relative, you may have the power to alleviate her loneliness. I mean, I am her grandson, but look, I don't need a lecture from you, all right? It's none of your business, okay? Kiyoshi-san, have you ever considered what it means to live? Live? Personally, I think the bonds between people are what's most important. That's what your grandmother is slowly losing. <sighs> to live? Are you kidding? No one actually talks like that. What more do you need out of life than to have a blast? To have a blast? 
I mean, you're happy when you're having fun, right? So hell yeah! We're alive to have a good time! A good time? So, what do you say, Aiga-senpai? If you got time, why don't we... Thank you, Kiyoshi-san. Let's go. Huh? What the hell? What, so you were just trying to play me? Screw you! I can't understand Kiyoshi-san's feelings, and I even made him angry. Did I do something wrong? Boyfriend. A term that is used when one is in a mutually romantic relationship, correct? Is something wrong with that? If I assume you are my boyfriend... My boyfriend? Feels strange to phrase it like that. <sighs> I. Ever since I decided to live, I've been asking why and how more frequently. The more time I spend with you, the more I discover that I don't understand. That when I ask myself why I'm not alive, I never have an answer. <sighs> Is this what you call frustration? But at the same time, I feel extremely lucky. I would even say I'm more fortunate than others, despite not being human myself. After all, you are very important to me, and I get to be by your side. It's strange how two conflicting feelings can coexist. Towards Kyoshi-san are unusually harsh. Kyoshi-san has warm, soft hands to embrace those precious to him. And yet he... <sighs> what is this ugly feeling? Is it... jealousy? Let's stop this. It isn't right. Yes, I am stopping right here. Shall we go home then? Thank you. Oh! You're Kiyoshi-san's grandmother. Good afternoon. Oh, you're those nice students from before. Hello there. You have great timing. I was just hoping to run into you two again. The truth is, Mitron's disappeared again. Oh, so it's a recurring problem. Don't worry, though. At least this time, we have an idea of where to find her. No, that's all right. I believe that this time, Mitron went in search of something. In search of something? When cats feel that their life is nearly over, they look for a place to wait for the end. Isn't that what they say? Wait, but what about... It's okay. Michan even came to say goodbye to me before she left. So... I don't think I'll need you to find her anymore. Miss. Besides, it's more or less the same for me. My day will eventually come too. And when it does, I hope I can rest in peace without making trouble for anyone else. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I'm so sorry, but I did want to make sure I thanked you two again. It was nice to see you. Well, good day. Wait, 
Miss, um... You're not alone. I'm certain of it. <laughs> yes, you're right. No one is ever truly alone. Not as long as they continue to live in this world. See? I have the company of a fine young lady such as yourself. <sighs> Bless you, dear girl. You have a kind heart. See you later. Hiyoshi-san said that people live to be happy. Was Michan-san happy? Was Michan-san grateful to have been born? For what purpose was Michan-san born? Life. Where does it originate? Where does it go? What reason does life have to exist? Living means connecting with others. But all life eventually ends. Parting seems to be a natural and inevitable aspect of life. An unavoidable end. Life is cruel. I wonder, will I too someday have to part with you forever? <sighs> I do want to live, but that's not the only thing. I... It's not just about becoming more human. It's about you. Being with you. What... What is this feeling? What do I want to do? for getting upset. I'm going to head back. Today, I don't detect the usual scent of the sea. Hmm. I'm sorry about the other day. I think my heart is growing closer to that of a human. But because of that, I've realized something. The heart and body are inseparable. A human heart can only function properly within a human body. Um, 
Have you ever come here alone with someone else before? Perhaps you gazed out at the view together and spoke quietly. Oh, I didn't mean to pry. I was just curious. What? But I'm only shaped like a human. And besides, I'm a machine. <sighs> Actually, I've been a little worried. At school, I am seen as a human girl. I was concerned that if I stayed too close to you, it could cause a misunderstanding. If that is the case, please tell me right away. I wouldn't want to prevent you from becoming closer to another person. Here is beautiful. That must be why I sometimes see couples alone up here after school. They might be leaning against one another, or embracing. I never gave it a second thought before, but lately, it pains me to see them. I think I've come to realize that this is the kind of connection I can never have. As my heart grows more and more human, it only becomes clearer how much sets us apart. Just because my heart is developing, doesn't mean I can actually become human. I've known this since the beginning. Yet... I'm sorry. I lost control of myself again. But I still care about you, and that won't ever change, no matter what happens. It's strange. Why do I feel this way? Why are you so important to me? This is... love? <sighs> oh, so that's it. I finally understand. I have another wish. One just as important as my desire to live. But I know that this is something that I can never have. Let's go home. Um... Thank you very much! Isn't it interesting how the sunlight on a clear winter day seems stronger than it is during the summer? Perhaps it's because the sun is lower in the sky, and you don't have to look up to see it. I've gotten so used to this view, but no two times is it ever exactly the same. You could say the same thing about one's day to day, and to each life as well. The promised day is almost here. January 31st. Whenever I come up here, I get lost in my thoughts. I can't let it end like this. I want to protect it all. Thoughts like that. Since last time, I've tried thinking things through more rationally. I thought about that old lady and Michan-san. And Kiyoshi-san as well. I wonder if Michan-san was alone until the moment of her death. Somewhere no one could find her. I think the old lady wanted to be there for her at the end. To live means to be connected to other people. But life is finite. Farewells are unavoidable. It's sad to think about. But you and I will have to part one day as well. And then... We'll never be able to see you again. There are so many things in life I don't understand. It's filled with so much pain. You meet others. Forge relationships and spend time with them. And then, they're gone. Leaving you behind. Leaving you... alone. <sighs> when I think about that, I just can't hold back my feelings. But I understand now. That's just how it is. No two views are alike. 
No two days are the same. It's natural for everything to disappear, re-emerge, and constantly change. Life is both short and finite. That's what makes it so invaluable, and why one feels that it must be cherished. When you think about it, it's a miracle that two given people are able to ever meet in this chaotic flow of time and space. I believe that's why we find happiness in forging bonds and relationships with others. And it might be the true joy of being alive. It can be sad, but at the same time so warm. Beautiful because it is destined to end. And that's why I mustn't hesitate any longer. I need to tell you, even if this wish of mine is to never come true, I still want to tell you my true feelings. <sighs> um, I... I love you. I know I'm a machine. I know that I cannot truly touch you as a human. But I can't help it. All I can see or think about is you. you so much that I feel like I'm going to break down somehow. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything to say. Perhaps something really has broken inside of me. I feel so happy. shells on the floor are only blanks. There's no gunpowder in them. So, what do you think of my room? Are you surprised? To be honest, I was hesitant to invite you here. I don't have any welcoming decorations to make this feel like a home. It's hard to believe I ever thought this room was normal. But that's exactly why I wanted to show it to you. As you can see from the decor, I'm a machine. I'll never be the same as humans like Yukari-san or Mitsuru-san. It used to bother me, but I figured something out. There's something only I can say, because I am unable to die. I will never leave you, no matter how or when your life comes to an end. At that moment, I will be by your side. You will always remain in my heart. Oh, yes. Um, will you take this? That's one of my parts that had to be replaced after I collapsed at the Moonlight Bridge. I asked Mitsuru-san to have it sent here. I've grown since then. I'm not afraid, and I won't give up. I'll get back up, no matter how many times it takes. I'll fight by your side and protect you. This is the proof of my resolve, and I want you to have it. It's a part of me. If living is about spending time with people you've forged relationships with, then I want to be closer to you than anyone else. My connection to you is my reason for living. What's most important to me is to be by your side. I am Val. Val 
heart, I, the bond thou hast nurtured, hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Eon Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Eon within thyself. I, um, actually have one more favor to ask. At the base of my neck, behind the knot of my ribbon, that's where my most important component is. The artificial psyche that makes me who I am, my emotional engine. The Papillon heart, it's extremely delicate, and I'm not allowed to expose it outside of the laboratory's clean room. But... I want you to touch it. If you make direct contact with it, your genetic information will most likely be burnt into it. Even so, I want you to do it. I want to leave irrefutable proof on my body of our connection, not just as a simple memory, but as something permanent, something that can never be erased. into direct contact with my heart. Um, I apologize in advance if I say something odd or make unusual noises. For safety, I'll be shutting off the motor functions to my arms and legs. Well then, um, will you untie my ribbon? Oh God, I'm freaking out here. But... I know he's doing his best out there, too. I don't even know what he looks like, but... I know he's okay. I can feel it. Hey! Can you believe what's going on? I know you must be doing everything you can. So I will, too. I'm okay right now. And it's because you gave me the courage to stand on my own. So please, you can't give up. Oh, hey! Are you going home now? Okay, then I am too. Well, at least I want to, but I've actually got somewhere to be today. Huh? N no, no, you can't. Oh, but no, never mind. We shouldn't. I'm actually planning on going to the public library because like there weren't any books about sports physiology and stuff at the school library. I'm gonna head out first to get some studying done, okay? Sorry about that. Then again, since we've already bumped into each other, I kind of want to chat for a bit. Wanna walk me to the entrance? Well, then, uh, guess I'll see ya. Gotta go home and study. Oh, you know I can't. Hey, remember what I told you before? About finally finding my dream? I never had anything to work towards until now, so... I'll admit, I'd been slacking off. Mm, to be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up. And that's why I need to work harder. Ugh, I really, really want to hang out with you. I want to be with you. And I want to feel closer to you, too. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I want to take my dream into my own hands and stand next to you with my head held high. I want us to walk towards the future together. You just watch. I'm going to be so much more irresistible by then. I bet you'll fall in love with me all over again. Just kidding. <laughs> but that's why I need to be patient for now. Oh, I know. Don't they say that food tastes the best after you've tried your hardest in a match? Well, this is just like that. If we're patient now and cool off for a while, then maybe later on... Wait up! What are you even making me say? <clears throat> anyway, let's 
that's all I have to say. Uh, see ya. We'll hang out sometime soon. Oh, are you okay? You don't look so good. You should get home and rest before it gets worse. Right now, I, um, oh, sorry. This isn't the time to talk about that. Um, I suppose I can tell you. It's nothing important, though. Look at this flyer over here. The dark history of student-teacher romance? <sighs> People are free to fall in love with who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but... That doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper. Oh, I'll be alright on my own. <laughs> I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, Senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. It's not much, but I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. <laughs> it was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. That's why I want to stay involved. At least, I hope I can. <sighs> I want to be able to like myself more. And I want you to like me more, too. I want to be the first one you think of. That's why. Um... I... love you. <sighs> what am I saying? I, I can't believe I said something like that at school. I, I'm sorry. W well then, please excuse me. But maybe next time we could go home together. I have so many places I'd like to see. And I want to visit each and every one of them with you. Anyway, you've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled? Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> the thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person... Wait, they were real, right? They had to be. Ah, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. A uh, destiny called fate? Isn't that a bit redundant? Besides, you should be careful what you say to a single woman. <laughs> anyway, if you'll excuse me. Oh, uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Maybe you should go to the nurses. Uh, wait, you dropped something. What? Huh? This phone wallpaper? Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Hmm? That screen. I read downward. Love you. My! What a charming confession of love! Did you make this? Your... girlfriend? <gasps> uh, never mind that. What's going on? Why do you have this screen cap? Oh... Oh, don't... Don't tell me you got it online. 
The only ones who were on that server were... No, it couldn't be. There's no way. Are you kidding? No, no, no! Calm down, Mr. Yumi. Help! Someone call a doctor! Don't tell me. You're Tatsuya? I... Uh, I said all that? To you? I... 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 Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. oh, no! This can't be happening! I quit this school! I'm leaving! I'm never coming back! Oh, I can't live with this! Just kill me now! Um, I... I'm... <laughs> Maya! I'm Maya. It's me, damn it! You got a problem with that? <sighs> Why don't you say something? Jeez, idiot. <sighs> this is so embarrassing! <sighs> but, there was one thing I wanted to say. If we ever met face to face. I... I was able to turn my life around, thanks to you. So, um... Thank you. <laughs> uh, wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you, with my fists. Anyway, um... If you don't mind. If you don't... <laughs> mind... Uh, m maybe we could have dinner? <laughs> Oh. oh, sorry, I was just thinking about you. Uh, mm, can we go somewhere else? Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, but I appreciate it. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. <laughs> I, I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet. But I do want to see her. I think. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. <laughs> you don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. And with you by my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. Hey, um, you must be thinking your life would be easier if I didn't have so many problems. What, are you saying you actually like my problems? Hey, don't worry about it. I was just joking, okay? Jeez. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow, it's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Let's talk about the near future, then. 
might want to go somewhere over spring break. Oh, how about Destiny Land? But just the two of us, okay? You better not invite anyone else. <sighs> like if we stay the night and stuff. <sighs> I wonder if anyone at the dorms would notice if the two of us disappeared for a night. <sighs> That's an embarrassing thought. <sighs> we can talk more about it later. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? Oh, are you going home? You look a bit pale. Are you doing all right? Don't overwork yourself, okay? Maybe you should rest in the nurse's office before you leave. I was actually about to head to the faculty office. Would you like me to walk you downstairs? I want to spend as much time with you as I can. I'd be happy to. Okay, let's head down to the faculty office together. Oh, it'll be kind of embarrassing to walk side by side at school, huh? Mm -hmm. Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Oh, well, I, I want to start a tech club. Tech clubs? Are you referring to technicians' clubs? I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Um, not tech gloves. A tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club now? Why is it always you, Yamagishi? Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get this group going. I promise I'll do my best to find members and all that. So, do I have your permission to start the club? What? You don't even have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now, I must be going. And he's gone. Well, looks like I need to find five people now. Uh, would you like to join my tech club? to hear that. I was hoping you'd help me. You know, I used to think it was wrong for me to like electronics. I always kept it to myself, as I thought it was a strange thing for a girl to be interested in. But you accepted me for who I am. That's why I decided to be strong and let everyone know who I really am. Even if people think I'm strange, I know it's okay. I have you with me. So there's nothing to be scared of. Now I want to meet more people like me and hang out with them. Since I kept my love of electronics hidden, I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd try starting a club all about it. Because maybe there are other people out there who like this stuff too. And if so, I want a way to talk to them. I do admit I'm a little nervous though. But don't worry, I'll still keep going to art club. It'll probably get really busy, but I want to keep trying. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That kind of feeling. Oh, you'll stay in art club next year too, won't you? That's good. Next year, I want to be in whatever clubs you're in. I'd like to be in the same homeroom too. And I'd love to see you more at the dorm. I think I just want to be with you more in general. I keep asking more of you, don't I? If there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. I know I'm not the most reliable, but I want to get to know you better. I want to be closer to you. Oh, I've got to hurry and find some club members. And I need to make recruitment posters too. Well, I'll see you later. Next time, maybe we can talk about it more in my room? <laughs> now I really have to go. Bye. What's the matter? You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. Uh, I'm sorry. I should try not to call you that in public. <sighs> if you don't mind, could we have a little chat someplace else? I have some business to take care of later on. 
But I'd like to talk with you until then. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. This room feels so nostalgic. Even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. <sighs> the results haven't been posted yet, but I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student. And that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together. <laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? It's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin, beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant progress. My books, my clothes, my photos, Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast, especially the year that you came. Whenever we spoke or passed each other in the dorm, I felt like my heart would burst. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to this school. If I hadn't met you, would I have gone through with the arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Fate is... a mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. And for your future as well. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Come introduce yourself to the heads of the family sometime. Don't worry, you'd only be saying hello. I'd just like them to know who you are. Well, it's almost time. I'd best be on my way. I'd love to see you back at the dorm, but I'll be out late tonight. Perhaps this weekend? Just the two of us? <laughs> who else will lend me their shoulder when I need a little support? You're the only one who can do this for me. Go on, try and name someone who could do the same. <laughs> Was that a bit much? Well, now you know how serious I am. I need you in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me. It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten, but I remember. That day we... I'm sorry. It's just that... When I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did during the last battle. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city.
I admit. I'm finally noticing the beauty of spring. It's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters, and find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given. But to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, what's gotten into me? It's good, I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... through thick and thin. Not everything needs to be for some greater purpose. Just caring about someone can be enough. That's all we need to give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>